Welcome to Dwarven Forge Live. This is On the Anvil, episode 94. I know for a fact because I checked with Chris before we went live. Yeah, that's right. You don't get to act like you're... <laughs> like I would just figured it out for the first time ever. This is the show where we take you behind the scenes here at Dwarven Forge to show you what we're working on, uh, what we're thinking about, the challenges ahead, and in this case, uh, previews of Kickstarter pieces to come. In fact, we have some beans for you tonight. Can they... I had to... Is that like hi hyper fast beans? Oh, I'm probably hyper blowing out like crazy, huh? Because there's light. Well, it's mostly I had to fix your color correction. You looked like you had yeah. jaundice. Well, I didn't mean to tell you something, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you need to tell me? I, <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> full disclosure, I'm yeah. jaundiced. That's okay. Just, just turn the rainbows blue and you'll be fine. There you go. So, so uh, welcome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to uh, talk for the next two hours. We're going to do a giveaway at the halfway point. We're going to cover some news. We're going to... Uh, Mostly be looking at new city stuff uh, in the form of building. In the form of building stuff, yeah, because, uh, hey, <laughs> we, hey. Still, we still don't have our, our uh, the, the city's untold build for our Gen Con display next week, so Oops. we got we to gotta get that put together because we got to ship it out by the end of the week. Oops. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's... We're going to be literally in Indiana next Monday. Yeah. Which is, what's today, Wednesday? It's like six, five days, yeah. So anyway, we got that going for us. Woo! We yeah. need some insights. Some guidance. We got a couple new pieces. I don't know what else we're going to do. That's, I mean, that's probably going to fill up the whole everything. Let's be honest. It's the same thing, right? We'll yeah, start we off always, we're always all, like, oh, do we have, have enough to talk about? a table full of junk that's nothing, and then we'll look at it. Yeah. And then the 11th hour will turn into something. Oh, apparently, it's whiskey day, according to David Moffat. You know, Moffat would know. Hey, we, yeah. got, who, uh, we got some people here tonight, Chris? We got any, any Nobody's watching. Your faces? <laughs> Any, uh, yeah, we got a couple. We got a couple new faces. Griff Tenbar, Ooh, uh, okay. first time chatter, lo long time listener, first time chatter. Cloudy Dungeon, first time. Good name. Cloudy Dungeon. Yeah, I yeah. Like There's a lot of good. Na Every now and then I will see somebody with a screen name, and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Um, we got any, any old old favorites? Uh, Dragos oh, here. Who was the? There was somebody with urinal. Was it urinal burglar? Yes. During, during Wildlands, <laughs> we had like a urinal burglar. Like, Such a good day. Was watching a bunch. Yeah. That stuff was good. Boom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Glad. It's always nice to have familiar. A lot of faces fam a lot of familiar faces. New faces. If you're a new face, uh, join on in. Jump in. The water is uh, full of dwarvenite and sharks. No, we'll, don't be afraid to ask us questions. Interact. That's why we're here. Um, also, feel free to just lurk and hang out. No wrong way to watch. But we do enjoy. The interactivity. Doc Holiday, 666, first time chat, saying he needs to buy some Dwarven Forge pieces. Yeah, he does. You came to the right place. Yeah. Um, well, actually, the web store is probably the right the web place. Store's right, yeah. <laughs> if, you need, if you need advice on any of it, though, uh, yeah. yeah, let us know. But uh, what else? Uh, anything else cooking before we get into the news? Um, I, tell people oh, there's going to be a giveaway in Woo! about an hour, like halfway through the stream, around 8 o'clock Eastern. We do a $50 gift card giveaway for the Dwarven Forge online store. It is an international gift card. does not matter where you live. Anybody is eligible. So that'll be in about an hour. We, we sometimes forget about it, so, you know, liberally remind us. Yeah. I'll just keep reminding us. Every time we, you know, every time we get to, like, decide new pieces for cities, we always forget to do, we always forget to bring up runes. So we just need to be, like, reminded. Mm. So that what about the modular boat system? We're, we're, what about that? Should we get reminded about that It's not that worth too? doing it unless we're going to do a ruined version as well is the problem. <laughs> ruined modular boats. Yeah, ruined modular boats. You need to be able to like destroy those boats. Remind us. That would actually be really cool if the wood paneling on the sides could come off. <laughs> if you could... Oh, the man. Wood paneling on vans. You could change where cannons are located and stuff. Yeah, well. Man. One day. But. How do we make Sea of Thieves... A tabletop game, I think, is the main. So we have to invent drive. a tabletop game as a driver for the modular ship system. Yeah. Okay. I, I like this. This is my kind of ambition. We need to get in contact with Microsoft and get them to collaborate with us. On it's called Blood and Plunder. Get Bill I, Gates. I, I on can't the wait for my Blood and Plunder yeah. stuff to get here. Actually, they're close to fulfilling, right? Blood and Plunder. I don't know. I backed that a while ago. I'm pretty sure they are. They have pandemic issues like everybody, but I think it's close to fulfilling. Very excited for that. I think I got two boats. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, September. Awesome. Yeah, September's are right around the corner. I mean, it's yeah. basically August already. So, am I flexing the swag? Yeah, I am. This is one of the Dwarven Forge uh, T-shirts we're selling in our shop. If you want the Cerberus Warhound, 
uh, that uh, Felipe drew this. Everybody loves Felipe. Who doesn't love Felipe? People who don't know Felipe. Yeah. Anybody that does know him. Yeah. He's, this guy's he's, he's an angel. Yeah. Oh, the VIP well, badge is something we have not kept up with for a very long time. Uh, what? During, like, Wildlands. You can set a VIP badge. So, I, like, near the beginning, I was, like, setting it for people who, like, were very frequent watchers and everything. Yeah. Just kind of, like, a... Do they have them? We have a lot of that. We got close to hitting our limit on it. I don't know if we have mm. more now, but it's also, like, became a thing where it's, like, I can't keep up with this anymore. We aren't going to yeah. be selling the shirts at Gen Con because they are made when somebody orders them. Uh, so we don't, like, have a bunch we can bring and sell there. In fact, we're selling nothing at Gen Con. We'll yeah. have a, a massive array. Chris has figured out, like, the best 40 sets to array on a table. So you'll be able to see a bunch of our wares, but nothing. there will be no transactional uh, transactions. We won't, be, we won't be selling anything for money. Um, no. That's right. We're giving away all those sets for free. What? <laughs> Booth 1201. <laughs> Everything at Gen Con must go. Booth 1509. Uh, actually... Go over there. What's Wormwood's booth? Let's send them over there. <laughs> they give away everything for free. Uh, oh, no. This is going to be a real problem. I wonder if we should have a little picture of the t-shirts to let people know. Um, if we should have a standee showing that we have. Yeah. We also have merch. shirts. And we link to barely the actually told people outside yeah, of let's do it, the streams that we actually... People conventions like shirts. Set a reminder. Tell Bigsby to... Is <laughs> that a reminder? Oh, let's, let's, get, let's get let's get building. Let's get let's get jamming. Enough uh, riff raff. Enough yeah. banter. Yeah, yeah. Enough yes. banter. Enough. Nobody's here to watch us talk. No. <laughs> I don't know why anybody actually watches this. It's the news. News. <laughs> it's the news. 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 Yeah, that's why they watch. It's news. That's why. That's why they come right here. All right, we're let's yeah. do this. All right, I want to um, set something on fire one of these times for the actual news. And we'll yeah, like, you know we, who here was was anybody that's watching now, watching for the uh, the the fire of the soul? We did a live stream <laughs> for Dungeon of Doom, where <laughs> Nina figured out the chemicals you need to make green fire, and we got a big bowl and made green fire on the live stream. And then, I don't know if we blasted with a fire extinguisher. The dismount, we hadn't really thought about the dismount. It was kind of messy. But, um, yeah, we had a bowl of, of green fire. It didn't look, the webcam didn't really get the color. It looked more, it was much more impressive in real life than it was on the uh, camera. But we had, like, in the studio, where the smoke was going everywhere, it was not a well-thought-out plan. But we made a big a bowl of green fire. Can you um, imagine us not planning things carefully here? Well, not to be confused with the time we set the Dwarvenaut logo on fire to film it for the the uh, for the the movie that was that was also it would um cast in resin covered in kevlar that had been soaked in lamp oil uh and then set ablaze uh with the with cameras cranking so we could then speed it up and they could burn whatever and it was yeah it was really cool sculpted sculpted letters cast in resin thing and then that was that was a lot of black soot on the ceiling and then the fire extinguisher like that stuff goes everywhere. Like it was, it was a really, it was a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> there was like fire extinguisher stuff on Master Skulls, and yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we haven't been playing not, with fire recently. Cause we, I think we learned our lesson, maybe. Yeah, no, that's a real problem. Well, we're but you know, we're afraid cities. to use we're afraid to use fog in here because of the fire alarms. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Who would set those off? The amount of anyway, times, the the, news, the amount of times during Wildlands that we've got that we got kicked out of the street while the fire department came and made sure that we didn't actually start a fire. Yeah, they started sending us fines. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> they did. Let's uh, go to the <laughs> news. Yeah, we uh, we might have gotten a, a nice uh, little bill from. How, that. how much? How much did they um, find Well, we kicked for that? it back. We told them that Gary said it was okay. <laughs> But anyway, what's in the news? <laughs> um, there's not a lot on the news uh, this week. Uh, uh, the big thing is, we're going to be at Gen Con next week, uh, which, you know, we've already said, but just uh, just to clarify, 1201. we're going to be there all days, booth 1201, we're actually right near the entrance, so if you're going to Gen Con, or if you live near Gen Con and you haven't decided to go yet, maybe think about it. Um, please wear a mask. Please wear, I think you have to. Oh, I good. think they're enforcing yes. masks there, yeah. Um, we're, we're like right at the front of the show floor, so it's going to be super busy oh it's gonna be awesome um, i'm so excited to see see some of you that i've seen before see a bunch of new faces uh, please come we will be at the booth nonstop. we're there to see you and to 
shake your babies and all that good stuff he gets to do. And it's gonna be fun. We've got like a I've 20... shaken a few babies at some of We've got space. we've got like a twenty by ten foot uh, space, and all of it is gonna be covered with builds, just combining like everything that we've ever made, basically. Well, in Dwarvenite, no resin because big old build. Resin is asking for trouble. Um, uh, yeah, so it's going to have a, a ton of stuff there, including a Cities Untold build with some stuff that we haven't shown you guys Which yet. we're going to work on tonight. Yeah, we're going to work on that tonight. So, I mean, I, hmm, I don't know if we're actually going to have any secrets at Gen Con that we don't show tonight, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we will. We will? Okay, cool. So, there, yeah, so there'll be some beans that making their debut. Whisper. That was You're supposed to pretend you don't hear it. But I don't know why I'm stage whispering you your directions now if you're supposed to pretend that. It just made everything, <laughs> it just made everything odd. Um... Yeah, so there'll be some beans making their debut at Gen Con. Uh, We're gonna have a sandbox to play. Yeah, it's gonna be a sandbox. So you can you can free build. So if you're on the Reliquaries. fence about it and wondering about stuff, we we'll have the reliquaries. Yeah. Well, our first our first factory samples. finished reliquary sets arrived at the office last yeah. week. So we're gonna take a set of them to put on display at our Gen Con table so people can get a look of it. Not selling them yet because we're giving them to our backers before we put them in the store. But with the way things are progressing. It really feels like we're going to have them ready by the holidays, which I'm very excited about. Unless yeah, the way everything's been going, I'm sure. The way, the way, every, the way <laughs> well, everything's been going. Haven't had any delays the last couple of years. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be the fine. way everything's been going. Um, um, but come on by. Uh, we'll be at yeah. 1201. And if you are going, there's a special event that we're doing Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Indianapolis time. What is that? Central or mountain time? It's central, yeah? Central mountain, mountain is further west. Yeah. yeah. I think it's central time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Central Time. It will also be streamed if you're not going to Gen Con. Uh, the tickets are like $2, and then they do still have some tickets left, but they've sold a lot. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, big interactive game show. It's called the Gooey Cube Game Show. If you search Gen Con's like, list of events um, and just look for Gooey Cube, it will. There's giveaways, show audience up. participation. Yeah, you might get called up to uh, participate in the game. Uh, Nate and Stefan are going to be playing, there's going to be a ton of prizes given away. Ooh. Um, including some Dwarven Forge gift cards, I believe. Uh, and, yeah, and it's all for charity as well, which is a, a, a big thing. Um, it's all for a charity that, like, helps use games, like, therapeutically. Um, which we forgot is our frosted beverages. Cool things. Oh, yeah, we forgot, we forgot that we can't do this show sober. Um... I don't. Uh, I don't think either of us gets drunk off the cider over the course of two hours. Turns out it's weird. I like never drink, but I have way higher tolerance than a lot of my friends who drink frequently. Mm. It's very odd. Yeah. Uh, um, Facts. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Gen right. Con. So that's doing it. But if you aren't going to Gen Con, it will be streamed that morning. Uh, live and you'll be able to still win prizes there i believe you get entered in the prizes if you donate to the charity during the stream um but you know you can't like get called up to play in the game if you're online but yep. there's still a chance to get prizes and support a good cause we're so, yeah. giving away a piece of terrain first come first serve if you come to the booth uh if you sign up for the mailing list but i'm assuming you guys are already on the mailing list if you say hey i watch you guys on twitch then we'll give you a piece yeah just be cool, be cool, we'll give you a piece. Give and a like, piece. But, I mean, but, here's, but here's the thing, we'll, we'll believe you because the only way you yeah. would know that is if you watched this sh show. So. I'm urinal burglar. And if, if, urinal burglar if urinal burglar shows up, I'm pieces. gonna be so happy. Yeah. I, I would love to be able to put a face to urinal burglar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Face to the burglar. Uh, so oh, yeah, yeah come, uh, come on by, come on by. Strawberry, okay, I was like, wait, what is this? Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's all the Gen Con news that's fit to speak. Um, next, going to cover some quick Wildlands stuff. Uh, Wildlands EU shipping has been moving super fast. I think all that's really left is a couple in German, Germany. German orders. Um, because German customs has been their thing. But the nice thing is we've been able to actually work with them. They have been their thing. They have, yes, German customs has been their thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, the nice thing is we have actually been able to work with them uh, this time. So, like, all the... All the times where they've been like, we need more information about this, we've been able to actually just tell them, like, this is what this thing is, and it's been going through. So if you do have any issues with it, um, just let us know. We'll send you whatever they're asking for. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so far, every issue that's come up, we've been able to clear up within a couple days. Basically, um, I think everybody outside of Germany, I think everybody has their 
stuff, or at least their notice, like well, it's been cruising. Wasn't customs, it was DHL. But since it's only happening in Germany, I assume that it's because of German customs. It's some combination yeah. of DHL and German customs. And it's it's just know. like the reality of like, because the rules are different yes. by country and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so if you get if you get any messages or anything that are asking for uh, uh, extra information or anything like that, any kind of declarations or anything, just let us know. Contact customer support. We've been able to clear up all that stuff. I know the UK uh, so has gotten stuff because I saw Rabbit posted an epic ruins build. Epic you in Sweden. DHL just needed your social security number. Well, we can't give you your social security number, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's an odd that is. request. Huh. DHL oh. super perfect about paperwork for customs, so they ask anything before they give it to customs. Hey, it's better that they it's better that they do that than not be on top yes. of it at all. <laughs> but so far, it seems like we're all, we're almost there. We're down like a handful. Perfect. Yeah, I, I know. I've seen a number of people in Germany posting that they got their yeah. stuff, so it's definitely going through. There was there was DHL was slow to pick up. They missed. They were late by a couple of the days. Last, the last yeah, the last batch they were supposed to pick up like on a Wednesday morning and they didn't pick up till like Friday afternoon. Yeah. But it's, it's moving. It's yeah. really close. Really, really, really close. Is what it is. And so because of that, it's looking very likely that we'll be done with delivery by next week. It'll be a race against Gen Con. Yeah, it'll be a race, a race against Gen Con. Uh, so because of that, we have officially actually set our Wildlands uh, launch date. We... That was pretty good, right? It's tungsten carbide on metal. Yeah, we have uh, other people news. Pay extra we have for new that. we have new tables in the production room. Table singular. New table. There's another one being made too. Um, uh, Azure Cobalt. We are not going to be running games at our booth this year. We are we're running on a small. We're running with a smaller crew than usual this time. Um, COVID also. And there's also COVID. Yeah. I um, loved booth games. Were really fun. Also a real pain in the ass because it's really hard to run a game in the middle of a country floor. It's really loud. You have to be yelling. Um, and it just it take it eats up space in the booth and a person for an hour, whatever. But it was really fun. I've had some really fun uh, booth games. Like it was really uh, it was very enjoyable. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense for us to do it this well, year. Well, even when we have like ten people or twelve people, and we have six this year. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, that's like a few less. It's a couple less. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's it's somewhere around ten to fifty percent less. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh because of that yeah so uh wildlands we are uh planning to launch it in the store wednesday august 10th at oh. noon eastern time um it's looking like that should give us plenty of clearance to work out whatever lagging eu shipping there is so everybody in the eu should have time to play with their sets a bit before the 10th rolls around oh. so they'll get an idea of like what extra stuff they might want to get um and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, the listings are almost complete. We haven't put the mega pledges up yet. They will be classified as soon as we have a better idea of. I don't the know if they're gonna go. Yeah, because e even if we don't end up listing them, even if we end up not having any, I'm pretty sure we're gonna put them up and list them as none at this not time. Not available. Yeah. That's what we've been doing. Uh, for some that we're not planning to have, we're listing them as as none at this time, um, because we. So the way that like the the stock works, like this isn't like a regular restock where we've got hundreds to put in for each set. This is what is left over from our store order based on how much we could fit into a container, um, how the molds were laid out, what the factory was quoting us, like all that stuff. Um, and we're holding on to a, a larger portion than usual for replacements because since we didn't have any before and also everybody just got their stuff, we need to be ready to handle like a couple people finding out that they're actually missing like whatever a, a box of something yep. or something like that. Um, so we are going to. I don't think there's any other listings missing besides the mega pledges currently. We recently went through and did um, a, a final a, sweep. Yeah, I did like a big sweep of like, hey, we're missing like this random set. This thing has like the wrong price. All of that stuff should be fixed now. Um, another thing we're going to be doing. Uh, that isn't done yet, but we're in the process of, is uh, we've been talking about how to handle, since there is like limited stock, like super limited stock on uh, some of these things, we're going to do, um, we're, we're going to limit some items to 
uh, one per order. Um, we're going to try to mostly just do it with larger things where... Uh, we're mostly going to do it with like larger things where it seems like it wouldn't really hurt you to not be able to get multiple. And it's mostly just trying to do as much as possible, give everybody a fair shot at trying to get what they want. Um, and we're going to actually mark the sets that will be limited to one per order so that you can see it ahead of time. Um, We're trying to give you as much pre-planning as possible so you can you can get the best out of the... Yeah. You know, so there will be... An, if, an, if you look less at the, than ideal situation. Yeah, if you look at the Wildlands... Um, if you look at, like, the Wildlands page, like, collection now, you'll see, like, these little, like, white banners over the project listings. Basically, once we've got that... Once we figured out what sets it's going to be, that banner on the sets that will be limited to one will say, like, one per person or one per order on it, basically. Um, so, uh, not one limited set per order, but basically you can only get one of that set in an order. So you can get one of each of the limited sets if you want. Um, that's the that's the plan that we're running with currently. So that should be worked out and up on the site by the end of the week. Use the wish list feature. Yeah, use the wish list feature to plan it ahead of time. Like, the easiest way to make sure you get what you want, because uh, the reality is... A lot. We're expecting a lot of this stuff to go within the first couple of minutes because there's a lot of people who found us after Wildlands that really want to get this stuff, and we it isn't full restock numbers. It's it's the reality of it. We're pretty sure that we have less than what people are going to. We want definitely for this. have less than the demand will be. So yeah. So we're trying to make it as fair as possible, um, and give everybody as much information ahead of time as possible. And we're not doing it in the middle of Gen Con. So for those yeah, of you that are Gen Con. It, yeah, and we're yeah, and we're trying not to do it. We waited until after Gen Con, mostly because we want to make sure that we've got the team like on hand in case there's any problems. Well, uh, everybody we are gonna, that's we at are Gen Con do, doesn't, you know, yeah. you don't want to be hovering over your like phone in the corner of Gen Con like trying yeah. to hit by. We aren't going to do the August restock container the same day, mostly because we still don't know when it's going to land. It hasn't arrived yet, and we can't count on it clearing in time. Um, so we just want to not worry about Jay it. Jay said it's not, it's currently slated to arrive not till the 12th. So it won't even which arrive. Which means we won't even have it at the warehouse till, you know, the earliest so the that earliest... would want to be the seven, the 19th or something. I don't know. It's going to yeah. be. You got, you got to account for like a week for it to get to yeah. the warehouse and then get processed and stuff. Yeah. So it'll probably be two weeks after Wildlands or something. Yeah. So yeah. So the August restock container won't be until later in the month. Uh, but yeah. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else surrounding. If you have any other questions about the Wildlands launch, let me know. Um, I think that is basically. All thanks of it. for and, and thanks for bearing with us on all this Wildlands shipping. I know it's been a rigmarole. Um, it's been a really long, painful, ponderous process. It turns We're almost out, through. Yeah, so. it turns out doing our. Oh. most complex project in the middle of a pandemic and global shipping crisis. It's been, it's uh, been rough. We've, <laughs> we've taken a bath on... on uh... Honestly, we got, we got lucky with a, with a lot of it. When we've seen like some of the other like teams that have had Kickstarters and stuff like have Could to have end up worse. folding. Like yep. it's, it's been very challenging for a lot of people. Can you repeat everything you just said? <laughs> uh, play, play back the VOD. V-O-D. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just just play back the VOD. <laughs> um, cool, I think that's everything. But if, if there's any other questions that do come up, uh, let me know. I'll answer it in chat if it's not time. And we'll be we'll be free talking for the most part during the actual uh, show. With that said... As opposed to our usual very scripted... Usually, area, this, this, this whole show is actually scripted. Highly, highly yeah. scripted. Tyler actually plans out two hours of tightly yeah. paced uh, banter every week. The problem is we cut all the jokes every time. The <laughs> problem is we make it we look never awful. Read. We make his work look as, as just absolutely abysmal. It's, it's the goal. It's the yeah. Goal. Um, all right. So we uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get a little crazy. Let's get yeah. Let's get crazy. All right. So you want me to go to the sniper cam already? Yeah. Sure. All right. Maybe. Look at that build. Oh man. Ooh, look at that build. Uh, new table. Oh wait. Is that the new terrain tray? Uh, new fake terrain tray. Yeah. New fake terrain tray. So that's the new art. Um, awesome. So we, uh, so I don't know, a few weeks ago, months ago, I don't know, we were started that Gen Con build, a layer cake. That got inadvertently uh, cleaned up. So <laughs> that, oh yeah, that's why we have the flag system. Tyler started it like- It got melted down? Yeah, it was like, you know what? He's got a little free time. I'm just gonna, there's this big stack of like 
terrain trays and stilts and whatever and escarpments. Let me just finally put away this wildland stuff. And um, okay, and I was like, wow, that was a build. He goes, that wasn't a build. That was like, a I'm like, no, 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 that was like the thing. No, really, you don't understand. It wasn't done yet, but I had it in my head. There was a, it was a plan. It was a skeleton. So anyway, so that, that thing died, but then it, it resurrected um, as an angel of vengeance. So it's um, the, uh, the uh, we, maybe I'll put it, I'll put up an, you know, we'll put it in the Wildlands update. We'll do a little, I did a little walk through, fly through video of the build, which has now built, been dismantled in, in boxes to go ship to Gen Con. But we did a really neat, I got together a six foot by six foot build, then a, a corner and another two feet jutting out. And has like a, has a little layer cakey sort of thing. There's a, a hellscape vignette. There's a crystal cavern vignette. There's a couple little spots in there. <laughs> castle on the hill. Spruced up the castle a bunch, which I put on, I put that one on Twitter. You can follow me on at Nate Taylor on Twitter, N-A-T-E-T-A-Y-L-O-R. Um, I put these bits up. Um, so anyway, that thing is, is built out and ready to go. But on the, it, it goes from a castle, a castle on a mountain down, more mountains down to forest, down into like swampy water, into, that's going to flow into our uh, city's uh, preview. So we're going to have a sneak preview at Gen Con. We're going to build it right now. Uh, so we're waiting for pieces to finish out. The plan is... As Ed brings up a uh, good point. What? He says, if only you had a video record of what you did. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that would require, like, going and looking for it. It was, yeah, it was too much to go back. It's better to just keep plowing ahead forward. <laughs> mm. So what we're going to do, uh, two feet by four feet, flowing out of mountain lake water, and... We're basically going to do sort of the same gag that we've been doing with all these bills, which is a seaside thing, because the only, the only things we have done right now are wood, some wood pieces and some seawalls, um, and we have some train tray art. So we have, we have just enough to make something. Um, By done, he means print it out and like paint it and ready to show people. Prototypes that are, are Not like ready. non-sculpted. <laughs> well, like... This is the only stuff that we have... That's presentable to the general public. Yeah, um, we've shown you guys like some other rougher prototypes and like phone mockups and stuff. We don't want to put that on a table at a convention because yeah. explaining what that stuff is is hard. Um. So we have. Oh my god, what is Omi Forge? This I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I I look up the channel one time one time an episode and that's what I get. Is how can I subscribe? Uh, so. This is uh, the latest art on this uh, breakers terrain tray. It's going to, this side is going to match the mountain lake, so you can use it to take your mountain lake into shore or turn it into a ocean or whatever. Um, and it tiles nicely with itself on the sides. We have this one thing done. I, uh, per Tyler's idea, I just <laughs> taped it. I was scotch taping. I've spent like an hour scotch taping these things. But, um, Scotch taping this to a, an existing terrain tray that's got a little heft to it. And then uh, I took, took the water texture overlay and I scotch taped that on. So we got a couple of these things. We're going to do a um, kind of an L, a dog leg shaped thing here. And then I, this is, I took the mountain lake and I put the, we have these water current overlays, uh, which there's a straight one and a curved one. So it's a curved one. And then a curved one upside down for the white side because it's printed. The, there's white on the underside of where it's printed, so to give it extra white. Because I'm trying to do a convex curve uh, between two of these. We only have one piece of straight art, and I'm trying to go at 90 degrees. So I'm basically trying to cheat it best we can with this, with a couple of those overlays. I'm going to have to put some terrain on there to kind of try and uh, trick it, but we'll we'll get there. So we're using these as a uh, as a base, and then. On the second story, we're using, so we have, we have this art, which didn't print out right. It actually looks pretty good on camera here, actually. Um, the, our friends over by Maths by Mars are printing these on vinyl for us. It's really nice. Um, and they'll have color corrected ones, which they're bringing to Gen Con, but I'm using these for now. Um, these are sort of our muddy uh, ground uh, bits, which are, and I've, I'm taping these two <laughs> battle boards to uh, stimulate battle board thickness. So I'm going to use these as our as our base to build upon. So Dragos is asking if there's any way to have the overlay just come already permanently attached to the terrain tray. 
which that was our original plan, and it was unmanufacturable. They said they could do it, and then they realized they couldn't do it after we'd already launched the Kickstarter. After we'd already we run a Kickstarter saying yeah. that we were going to do it that way. Yeah. yeah, that was the plan, because it was so much better. Well, um, you partnered with Maps on Mars. Yeah, we met them at Adepticon and talked to them, and I think it was... Yeah, they're doing some prototyping for us. They're really awesome. Yeah, he was he was really nice, and we talked to him, and it's like, yeah, I mean, we do, we work in this stuff. They're really good at what they do. Maps by Mars, yeah. like, makes super good stuff. Yeah, they're... Like, they're They've been great to uh, to work with. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to the other things we need to think about are we have limited pieces, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be cheating. I want to ch not cheat too much, uh, but we're definitely going to be using some existing city stuff um, because the idea is that people that don't know anything about our stuff will be wowed. We want to wow them. You guys that know a bunch of other stuff will. Um, be wowed by the new bits that are in there and just be, oh yeah, it's nice to see it working on the old bits or whatever. And uh, mostly we just need a wow. So we will we'll, uh, we'll be liberally cheating for wow. Um, and, oh, here's the, here's the, oh, here's the, so we're, we're trying to get the Ashlar corner post done. Oh, and I ran out of, and this one is a piece of paper, so it's not even, uh, we ran out of uh, the vinyl. Bits. So it's these, these battleborns, it, these are gonna all placeholder. They'll, they will change, but mm -hmm. um, we're trying to get the Ashlar corner post done so that we can uh, we'll have one Ashlar building in here. So we'll have like a leave room for an Ashlar building on, on one side, and we're racing to get. Let me put that. That looks bad. Um, oh boy. Racing to get the, uh, the thatched roof. You guys have seen the uh, clay sculpt on here a few times. Eli cleaned it up while he was uh, down here the last two weeks ago um, for Dev Week. And uh, Tyler is going to Connecticut to pick up. We had to go scan the thing. It's a long story. But we're racing to try and get the thatched roof, one working piece of the thatched roof, or cast of painted casting of the thatched roof ready for Gen Con so we can have the smoking thatch roof there, which should be kind of awesome. So it'll be a world premiere. Um, I think it'll work out. Miles cast a fogger so he could make a dummy fogger because we need to basically have hollow out the space inside the roof that's the exact shape of the fogger. We didn't want to do the real fogger, so we cast a fogger, to, if a prototype of the original prototype fogger, which wasn't working anyway, to, to make a lump that then he can inject in the thing when he casts it, so it'll fit. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a race, they're gonna FedEx it they're gonna like FedEx it Tuesday for Wednesday delivery, so we can pop it in there. But so we have to leave space for the uh, the one thatched roof in here. Maybe leave space for an Ashlar building, and um, go from there. And I have uh, kind Is of there... liberal space water here because I don't know if we have enough buildings to fill it. But if we do, if it does feel like we have enough buildings, I can always turn this. I can turn this into a uh, into a battle board. <laughs> And just do water here and here. <laughs> and your reason you're using stilts on their side instead of smaller stilts? It's probably because we ran out of appropriately sized I'm, stilts. Yeah. I'm using stilts on their side because we don't have our new 25 millimeter stilts yet. Um, but stilts on their side are like 25 millimeter stilts. Um, yeah. That was one so of the things yeah. we discovered when you were building, right? Is you were like, we need more stilts here. I can never have enough stilts. Especially the new 50 millimeter stilts, I need more. Especially more, when more, you more. have like... Stilts. I build a lot of stilts. Especially when you have multiple builds covering 20 by 10 foot <laughs> space. Yeah. Well, and, and going up three escarpments it's high. A ton of, every build has a ton of elevation and tricks and stuff like that because we're making every build like the wildest thing anybody's seen. It's, yeah. Yep. We're going big or going home and... Um, Our home is not. Somebody was wondering if we're going to have both a terrain tray and battleboard version of those. I think we're mostly going to stick to doing it as a terrain tray or a battleboard, depending on what kind of surface it is. Yes, I think there's not going to be much crossover. But I don't know. We have a couple of things in flux. Hold on one second. I think the way we generally think about it is like terrain tray for oh. stuff that is um, liquid or stuff that is more negative space focused. And battle boards for stuff that is more like a way to extend ah. a sculpted area or to be like a more physical like floor, uh, basically. Like for like the battle boards for Wildlands were forest and mountain. 
uh, like physical ground, Ooh. basically. And then the terrain trays were mostly terrain trays and mats were all like liquid oh, effects, yeah, stuff that you don't yeah. want to like have volume really. Because then also the big thing is uh, the battle board's other side oh. is magnets, so that you can slap any terrain tray on it to elevate it up and basically make that terrain tray pattern into a battle board. Um, As if Hamster didn't have like 80 Star Wars miniatures to get painted before Gen Con, he's also doing autumnal painting uh, for that video for tomorrow. Holy moly! Oh yeah. <laughs> Spilling yeah, special a bean machine. about a thing we're shooting tomorrow. All right. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, spilling some beans, huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, everybody's always asked about, like, hey, you guys should do, like, a version of Dread Hollow that's a fall paint scheme or winter paint scheme, and that's not feasible for us to do production-wise, but we're shooting a video about yourself. how... Yeah, about, like, an, an easy way to basically make, like, a fall paint scheme for Dread Hollow. Where I think we're going to do fall and winter in that video. But, yeah. So, uh... Get some seawalls. We're gonna uh, put these guys to good use right here, right now. Uh, let's form the backbone of this little village. Uh, and this is new, new paint on them than previously. It's got more. Uh, hey Nate, Seamless wants to know how our food was. Uh, it was delicious. Falafel. Mm. Okay, um, delicious is cool, but uh, on a yes or no scale? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Always yes, yes and. <laughs> yes and, can you send me a discount code? Hmm. So the idea, was, oh wait, I'm not even on the, uh, no, I'll get there. Okay. So the idea is you can have, uh, you, you're going to be able to put these with the 25 millimeter, millimeter stilts, you'll be able to pop these under here raise up your battle boards to make the edge of the sea and we can you got two sides so you can use you can have the uh the side that's got the drainage and it has little biscuit holes there so you can connect out or you can use the uh plain side and then these uh what are these guys little? the um we got this little elevation block guy which will conceptually i think the prototype needs a little shaving it's going to conceptually um We'll be able to fit like nook in there right now. It's not nooking so well, but we could do this. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll play. Boom. Hey, um, Crystal Soli's here. Hey. Oh yeah. Did you see that uh, her basilisk was on Critical Role last week? Yes, I saw. Thanks to her. <laughs> I saw the the tweet. It's so cool. Uh, and she is going to be at Gen Con. Uh, she's going to be in the Artist Alley. Uh, actually, I should tell us where it is. She is, uh, and so you should go uh, and support her because she's an artist and she literally makes a living doing these things. She's number 75 in the artist's alley. Nice. Yeah. Is the paint scheme the same oh. as Fieldstone Walls? It's not the same, but I think it uses the same base colors, right? It's the, the bottom, this is, is similar. It's similar to uh, castles, um, and then the top is going to match our new cobblestone textures. So it's a more warm color, but it's it should look uh, pretty neat. So here's a, here's our first challenge we're going to run into is the uh, the corner. Mm. Um, these are designed so that they can sit really nicely together, uh, but not when they run into each other. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do there. You might have to do some evasive maneuvers. Hey, Crystal, we're launching, um, with Wildlands going into the store, we're launching like uh, some ads for it soon. And we have a section that, we have like a, mm, some ads that are part. just advertising the minis. And it's, it's very, Letitia put together like this really beautiful, like here's the mini and here's like the concept art. Uh, Side by sides. Side by side, and it's like concept art by Crystal Soli and like stuff. Like, and it's so awesome. Yeah, so you might be getting uh, you might be getting a lot more people talking about those minis soon. Woo! Yeah, Crystal's been on a roll. Yeah. Doing art for uh, art for D and D, art for Magic, mini on uh, on Critical Role. Something with Star Wars, right? Did your Darth Maul? Did you get something? I don't know. She's been. She created it. Darth Maul? Yeah. She invented uh, 
<laughs> the Maul lights. The, no, she did some Darth Maul uh, work. I don't know. She could tell you the story. She did Finley's, some Darth Maul thing that got somebody's attention. And, Finley's got an idea. Oh, yeah. Bring says, it, Finley. Put elevation Please. blocks and stairs going down to a lower dock area in the corner. Good idea. Oh, and somebody's also asking how the height of the seawalls compares to the sewer walls. Uh, it is sewer walls without a floor. So they are, uh, it's 38 or 40 millimeters. I can't remember what we're at. Um, but elevation block height, Aranthor cliff height, and the like. All right, so we have some sort of, we'll have some sort of, uh, you know, docks and boats situation. I'm feeling like I actually want to knock out, I think this is going to be enough, considering we don't have the actual new docks yet. I think... <laughs> I think three square feet of water is enough, and we can maybe pave, get more land out to here so that there's enough. Um, hmm. Let me move this camera around too so we can see. It. What are you laughing about? Um, Black and Blue Mark is saying, uh, good to see that 50% of the build area is reserved for modular ships. <laughs> All the more reason to reduce the water here. <laughs> uh, Vertex Artist is wondering if we're going to have pull holes on the walls. Uh, yes, actually. Ow! Oh, God. I have a pull hole in we my head. We should stop having Jesus. lights at head height. Yeah, these are facts. All right. Ow. Well, those that cables was... got a lot more dangerous, too. Yeah, this is how... Because I didn't have enough danger running the damn thing. Uh, yes. So there will be... No, no. Neofoy says, going to once again ask that the lovely basilisk attack the city via the water. We have the basilisk staged in one of the builds, right? Yeah, it's in the swamp over there, but maybe we'll attack. Anyway, there's, yeah, two yeah. holes here. So you can put a little something on the end of your, uh, your um, sea walls. Seawalls lined with gargoyles would be kind of sick. That would be cool, right? Maybe we'll do that. Although yeah. none of these have been drilled out, so we might have to pop them out and drill them all out, but... Wouldn't be the first time. Um, all right, let me let me preemptively let me get a train tray over here. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna open this thing up. People Did asking, Crystal clarify what the the Darth Maul thing I'm making up? She's doing some Star Wars something. She's been trying to get the trifecta. If she get magic, magic D and D and Star Wars on her. Why like, is that the trifecta? Why why does like Star her, Wars belong with? Because it's the things she loves most. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I was gonna. Say, I, I thought you just meant like in general categorizing. Uh, no, as, as a as a fantasy artist, yeah, that kind of kind of hits. Like, what else do you? I guess yeah. Like from an artistic standpoint, Star Hamster Wars is one of the note, dark ruses behind the build <laughs> with a highlighter, so you can't miss it. So, <laughs> I, she got to do promo art of Darth Maul for Star Wars yeah. Legion. Oh, yeah, sick! See, it was, yeah, there was Darth Maul. Doc Holiday says he needs a drowned drunkard miniature to be face down in the water. Oh. How do we know he's a drunkard? Because he's face down in the water, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it could just be a someone who took out money from the wrong loan shark, or a unlucky gambler, or a... Hmm. <laughs> Floating bottles next to him. A cat pole hole accessory. Oh, like a nice, like, perched <laughs> cat would be really nice. I think they said the, the cat tails. They were, like, they were trying tails. to find a way to... to uh, Bring back the, the cattails. All right, we're going. We're knocking this out. We... Crystal says she's excited to see us. It's been Me too long. Me too. I'm excited yeah. to see us also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so... Just about Star Wars Legion. I need to get more sets, I guess. Although it's it's weird. Like, I'm, I'm, I am... Are the... Apprehensive, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I, I haven't, I haven't really done anything social in the last two and a half years, and it's really weird. Like the idea of just going from zero to sixty, like, yeah, not being. I haven't been in any sort of crowd other than Fourth of July. We went down to the Yonkers waterfront, which you know there were yeah. like five hundred people there. So like, but that was like the biggest crowd I've been in two and a half years, and that was outside. This is going to be like we're going to be in you know, the center of the nerd universe. Mm -hmm. um, it should be, I don't know. Crystal had her first show back in two years a few weeks ago. She says it was really rough. 
what was any any preparations any advice how do we how do we steal ourselves you said she mostly just forgot how to how to like talk to people it's i don't know I, yeah the like my social skills have atrophied and I, I just want to be in the basement. Well, don't worry. It's a good thing that we have a smaller staff than we've ever had. At yeah, the, uh, <laughs> it should work out. It's a good thing there's less of us to, to spread around. Yeah, great. Good plan. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Is the, yet, are the stormtroopers we'll that hamster's painting from Legion? Yes, I believe They are from so. Legion. Okay, that's what I thought. So there's a couple, because there's right. like a couple Star Wars games, so I'm like... Which one? I don't know. Ask hamster. Where are those Star Wars? They are. <laughs> Star Wars? No. What are they? Where are they? Which? What game are they from? Legion. They yeah, are from Legion. Legion. Yeah, they are from Legion. Okay, yeah, cool. Of course, duh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got ourselves a uh, dark side scenario here. Let's just for fun, so we don't forget about it. Where are we going to put our smoking cottage? So I was thinking, oh, like it'll have the fogger in it. Yeah, okay. we have that. We are gonna have. <laughs> I mean, like with this, this is the designated this is smoking the, house. You put on your yeah, put on your smoking jacket. This is where the scar collection. This is where the smokers are allowed to live. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. we put the the smokers house right like. Do we just put that right smack in the middle? Like so, this is the side where people are gonna be walking, right? Do we put it right, right in the middle foreground? Boom, because it's a, it's a little thatched roof, right? So it, it doesn't want to be on a, it's only four by four, so it probably wants to be a single story thatched, like little, you know, little cottage. Well, I'm just. So I think the two this buildings. Isn't, this isn't actually it, this is a proxy. We're so I think the up. two buildings that are gonna be spotlighted in this build, or the two things that are gonna be the most like attention grabbing will be the thatch roof with the, with the fogger and then the one Ashlar building. Um, I think for the Ashlar building, it would be interesting if it was on a slightly elevated area. Like, this is, oh, this is, like, the noble, like, person's house or something in, like, the area. Or, like, this is the guy that owns the, the docks or something. So he's got, like, a more upscale, like, dwelling. Mayor Moneybags from uh, yeah. Monopoly. Yeah. Monopoly man lives up there. And yeah. then, yeah, having the thatch His monocle collection is arrayed on the walls and everything. Yeah. Yeah. What would the, what would a good context be for? Yeah, I'm having, sure, having the collection would get you to crack a smile, but not even. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I think yeah. having, I think having the Fogger House close to where it'll be passing will be good because the detail of it mm -hmm. will grab people's eyes. It'll be nice to be able to see it like super up close. Um, new stuff along the shore, backfill with the classic CBS stuff. That makes sense. Maybe we put a. I like the idea of raising up a thing over here. Make sure there's something dark behind the Fogger House so it's visible in the bright lights of the con. Mm. What if we've got um, like a two story warehouse with the hooks and everything that like pulls things up and so it's behind right the Fogger House? Right behind it, so we've got a lot of. Uh, yeah, because the, yeah. the dark wood walls of the, of the warehouse will like let the fog stand out a lot. Dark wood. Yeah. That was the uh, the Sith Lord that taught Darth Maul. Darkwood? Darth Wood. Oh, it, about makes, it, it fits in with a lot of Lucas's other names, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so we have some sort of some sort of situation uh, like this with um, I'll put you over here. Let's see. They're talking about Motorhead in chat. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Lemmy Kilmeister's trending in our chat. <laughs> Uh, Let's get Lemmy trending on Twitter, guys. Everybody, <laughs> get on it. Make as many tweets as you can with Lemmy in it. Yeah, so this is not actually a real build, but like we just garbage out like something, right? So there's some sort of thing here. We cock this guy. People are wondering here. if we've got a sculpt plan to handle the corners of the seawalls, like those. those um, there was a there was a outside thing planned, kind of like a. Um, you know the stalagmite corner fill from Caverns? Kind of mm -hmm. like a you nice know, stone version of that, right? Like a sculpted thing. Um, and I hadn't thought about the inside corner so much. One thing we could do is uh, we could, I 
could cheat it with one of these. Let me, see, let me mess around. Let me get a couple more of these guys. Hold on. The, uh, I think either way, having an answer. I think either way, having an answer for how to do those inside churns. Yeah. Would be good. Whatever we end up doing. Agree. There's a lot of stuff where it's like, oh no, we've got a fix for this thing. It's just not cast yet, so we don't have it physically here. But yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess that's the word for tonight's drawing. Which one? Oh, Lemmy. Yeah, that makes sense. Concave seawall? Maybe we do just make like a two by two churn inside wall. Is that too niche? No. If it's reversible, time. okay, that, this, that's what Gentleman Mike was saying. If it's reversible, it could be both a concave and a convex corner. Hmm. So I get that. Hmm. Okay. So honestly, I think the biggest I think the biggest problem with it is like the the parts that jut out. Yeah, it's arguably the only problem. It's the thing that looks weird when you just put them next to each other. Yeah, I think having like a having a two by two churn that is sculpted to both function as an outside and an inside churn, because that way it's just one piece. And you like wouldn't have any of the jutting things on the concave part. Yeah. What are those called? Bastions? Flanges? <laughs> those are completely unrelated words. Style. I don't know. So yeah, a corner fill piece will handle one of the corners, but theoretically we could make a piece that handles both in one. Corner fill. Yeah. Wow, this is not sanded well. These are this okay. Is, they are they are buttresses. Whoa. Hold on a second. We get seawall is one of the great tracks on the Blade Runner. Oh yes, it is. It plays. It's the one that plays in like the final fight, right? That seawall is the. Can, is it okay to spoil Blade Runner 2049? Is anybody in chat who hasn't seen it gonna like the fight I, with like all I the, even saw it. the heavy rain and everything? It's all right. Here's what we're God. gonna do for now. That I'm movie gonna, is that movie is so good. I'm cheating, cheating like a maniac. We're gonna. Um, it it is Seawall. That's such a good movie. I remember like after I saw it, I did just play that track like throughout the week. It's a really good track gonna put a bunch of these uh our elevation our new oh jeez we don't have any name for these things i honestly think i like 2049 these more than elevation the original. elevation jammers to put um put something out here like a castle or whatever a little watchtower the rabbit special and then two over here and i'll put a dock i'll pave that with a dock which i have go mm, docks let's see do I have to disassemble a dock to... This is a travesty. Modular um, yeah, we're really, We're really buttoned up against the issues of not having everything ready yet. Yeah, oh, we're just... This is, <laughs> this is gonna be now through launch. We'll be... Yeah. Slight wobbliness of the test pieces is endearing. Yeah. Though, go it, back and watch our hands-on videos from, like, Wildlands. That's a much, that's a much cuter... Um, prototype issue with like in-house castings the hardest one is definitely with, with wildlands the biggest problem was the holes for putting all the rods in yeah like trying to like for the for the drift stones with the polystone prototypes like getting the rods in and out was dreadful not so good not so good um Hmm. All right, so I, I don't know. I'm just putting some, uh, I'm putting a dock on top of this one to level that thing out, and then I'll maybe this will be a tower. I, I, I literally have the rabbit special standing here, so might as well just proxy it in. Let's see what happens. Oh man, there's no door. Well, we just have to make believe. How did that make sense? Get the drill. Yeah. All right, so we could do. Oh, you know what? That's a shame and a half. The why don't we put it on a? Why don't we put yeah, it on top of a four by? Thing. Why don't we put it on top of a four by four field stone? It needs. Uh, I want to be able to put the batters on there. 
I don't know. We'll get there. We'll we'll, we'll figure this guy out. Okay. He'll work for us. So we'll get. Um, it needs the seawalls on the outside uh, to give me enough, right? So I did this. It's really old seawall. Connect a top sewer with an upside down sewer and get a circle tunnel pipe drain. Hmm. There needs to be a pets pack for cities too, like a hearth dog, a sleeping cat, a rat biscuit. A rat biscuit? Magnetic roof pigeon. Well, they all decided that the rat was going to be named biscuit. Oh, right. A tree pig squirrel, a fountain duck, a wandering hog. Maybe even thirty. Maybe even maybe even, maybe even thirty to fifty of them. Honestly, a riding horse, a trained monkey on a grind organ, a guard mastiff. That's a lot of. That's a lot of animals. All right. So you could do. Our the... friends at Steamforge could do that for us. Honestly, an unnamed goose. It's very good. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, we'll get there. Uh... <laughs> We'll get there. We'll figure out what that is. Is there any lighthouse kind of idea for the tower top? Now, even if that were the case, we wouldn't tell you. That'd be a thing that we'd hold on to for... That would be a surprise attack. That'd be a surprise. Um, all right, so we got to, we'll got. we have some sort of... Uh, what about the tower on the tray directly? Large warehouse. Um, yeah, we could potentially do that. Yeah, like it's just like the foundation is below the waves. Yeah, just just go right to... Um, we, could, we could put the door on like the second floor, like mm -hmm. the second story. Put the batters, put the batters. And right then we down. can have like yeah. one of the gang planks coming down from the door to uh, to the street. Hmm. Lighthouse confirmed. Hey, you don't know that. You know what happens when you make assumptions? You look cool on the internet. Yeah, you know what happens when you make assumptions? You get clout. Yeah, you can do something like that. It's not, yeah. It's not crazy. Uh, all right, but it's, it is hogging. It's a visual. It might be too tall in the foreground, right? Because people need to be walking yeah. around. Yeah. Well, we'll if, we if we put it anywhere, it should be on the back. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm just going to put a platform here to know that we need to deal with something there, and we'll get there. Um, let's go back to that. So, oh, I want to get a... Uh, why does that keep falling off? I want to get a... I want to do just a escarpment, some raised, a little raised thing for this guy. Although we used almost all of our escarpments in the... Uh, Can you imagine a companion blink dog? Minute? Can we just grab one of our blink dogs and have it in the streets like it's somebody's pet? Curled up sleeping? Yeah. Because we have blink dogs. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I'm getting... Stick an LED in it. <laughs> I don't know if we can justify making a second blink dog after we've already made them. I guess they're not called mm. blink dogs because I don't know if we can legally call them blink dogs. Are blink dogs one of the things that you can't, like, make? We have things that are definitely supposed to be blink dogs. LED dog confirmed. All right. It's a literally a blinking dog. Put the tower in the water and put a bridge to the city. Wink dogs. Blank dogs. It is owned by wizards. Okay, so that's one of the things that you can't, like a beholder. Oh, I should get some terrain trays. Hmm. Oh. All right. Shop dog. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it's a good idea. We could do a modified. You know that um, that fun lighthouse watchtower build thing we did in the getting started video. We could do a yeah. modified version of that with a tower. Do a modified version of that with what? We could do a modified version of that like lighthouse watchtower build we did in the getting started videos with the tower. And have like like throw in like the mountain rock like some mountain rock mm. original Aaron Thor mountain rock scatter and have the tower like some out of ways. Rocks would be uh, yeah 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 out at the edge of the. Put that's it up on the rocks idea. and then have the docks like link it back to the uh, rocks and docks. Rocks and docks. Oh, that's a great name for the build actually. That's gonna be a bundle, when uh, 
Three well, we're cities. we're getting um, we're getting the Mountain Rock Scatter Pack back in stock next month, so mm. I want to actually make that bundle. Once it's there, so when we get back from Gen Con, I want to put hey, that together. Magnets are so satisfying. Yeah, so you know it what? is gift card time. Is it? Yeah. So we need Woo. a we need a word. We've had several options come up. Uh, I'll name him Stroby. Let's. <laughs> so uh, I'm making an LED blink dog. Crystal should pick the word. Crystal, Crystal should pick the word. Okay. Yeah. Crystal says that phase dogs and phase cats are okay names to use. Apparently, what did we call our blink dog? Blink dog. We did. We called them blink dogs, and we feral blink dogs. We called them feral blink dogs. Yes, because they're able to get away with that. Fully feralized. I don't know. We haven't been sued yet. Okay. We didn't get sued by our failing either yet. That's fair. Put some crenellation pieces in the corner. Put the working manual on there. Crystal, what's a what's a word that we should use for our uh, for our fifty dollar Dwarven Forge gift card giveaway? While we wait for the word, um, don't sue me. All one word. Don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> She's worked with wizards now, so we basically yeah. just admitted to a crime. Also, if, if justice is watching, if we, justice is watching, we're in trouble. <laughs> if justice is watching, all our friends sell us out to wizards over pieces that we made like six years ago. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> How does the word work? Basically, once we have the word, you just type it in chat, and it enters you to. Uh, Win a fifty dollar Dwarven Forge gift card for our online web store. Uh, people are wanting us to do Lemmy. It looks like we've had multiple requests for Lemmy. So unless Crystal has another idea, oh, Lemmy is a good one. Lemmy is a good one. I knew it. You want to just go with Lemmy? Sure. All right, I'm gonna type it in. Give me a couple seconds to type it in. Um, all right, if you want a chance to win, or urinal burglar. <laughs> no. I just I don't, know, I don't know if I want to no, see my chat fill up with that. Me, if you me, want a chance me. to win $50 for the Dwarven Forge web store, type Lemmy in chat. And then uh, you have to do it on Twitter capital Lemmy. It doesn't, to uh, make it trend. Yeah, then, then put it on Twitter to make it trend. Yeah. Um, That's how it works, right? Yeah, and Crystal says she's down with Lemmy, so there we go. And okay. there's the chat. If you asked a question before everybody started typing in Lemmy, wait until everybody stops typing Lemmy and then ask <laughs> it again, because I don't, I, I'm not able to read anything that happened before Lemmy now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. For Lemmy. Um, yeah, you are eligible for this no matter where you live. So even if you're not in the U.S., uh, you are eligible. You're all valid. You're all valid. So we got a little yeah. raised. I got camera. Work. I'm, I'm on one leg of the tripod <gasps> just to. Not have to. Did I ever tell you about the time I sh shot something in uh, my my hot tub? I shot like a skit, like in my hot tub, and we. You have a hot tub. My parents do because my oh. they were in a uh, my stepdad was in a motorcycle accident and like really messed up his back, and Ooh. so they were like they like recommended they're like you should get a hot tub and like soak in it like every day to like manage the pain stuff like that. Oh, you know, dude. To... Wow. Yeah. So you shot a movie in a hot tub. Use that as his proxy for the. Basically, uh, it's actually a very compromising scene with me and Tyler. Oh boy. Yeah. We gotta dust that off for like the next uh, holiday party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, little. Viewing. Yeah, that was that was something me and Tyler did back in like 2011, 2012. No, I love everything about it. Yeah. All right, so we've got. Um... Oh, here's oh, this was a I was teasing a bean. Do we just keep saying it. Uh, you only need to say it once. doesn't matter if it's capitalized. You can use it in a sentence. Any of that matters. Um, as long as you say it once, you are entered, and I will roll it in a couple minutes. Um, was there a time machine involved? Unfortunately not. Was that before Hot Tub Time Machine? When did that come out? I, I never I saw know. it because, I mean, it was Hot Tub Time Machine, but... One Lemmy's enough? Yeah. One. You only need one. There, was, there can only be one. One Lemmy is, in fact, all we get. Um, all right, we got a new uh, we got a new piece to show. I gotta figure out. I'm gonna try and it's gonna be the driver of the next thing. All right, well now I gotta figure out what Topulus said that he's trying to hide. Hang on. What's Topulus hiding? I don't know. What is Topulus hiding? So we got a sim. <laughs> Never mind. Hot some time machine. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on, man. It's a classic. Is it? <laughs> Is it a classic? No. Uh, Favorite line. It's 
So we got a... Uh... Oh, hey, it's a beam. It's a dormer. We got a dormer window. All right. So uh, we got... Uh, it takes a window insert here. So you can pop in, like, say, these open shutters or any of our other window inserts. Um, and it's going to... I don't have the one that Miles... It's gonna be I it's think. gonna be magnetic, right? Yeah, it's gonna be magnetic. Right now, the magnet is just a big bunch of white stick. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. it'll be able to stick on any of the roofs. It's gonna have an LED in there, so you get a little flickering, um, a little flickering fire in your uh, in your attic. Well, hopefully, it's not a fire in your attic. It's like a someone working by candlelight or whatever lantern light. So you can pop it on. So we're gonna put a. Let's find a. Um, Let's find a little, maybe we can do a little, is there like a taverny situation? Here's a question. Um, do we, do we break the, like, we have a lot of neat interior bits and an interior, tavern interior would be cool. But everything is like, it's gonna be kind of like diorama style, right? Where it's all sealed in, whatever. Here's, is it nuts to have like a like a topless a topless bar right like we we take a tavern we take the take the roof off and have like I don't think we make it topless I think we take out the walls facing the crowd hmm so it, it looks like you it's, yeah like cutaway yeah yeah we do we do the cutaway gag so they can like look in and see in, inside basically yeah, maybe it's two stories. Yeah, if we if we can make that stand without falling away, yeah, we we, yeah. Just, we just take out the walls facing the audience, take out the fourth wall. Hmm. It'll be the topless uh, <laughs> topless tavern. People really do like topless bars, though. Apparently, is that a, it's popular. In yeah. The, uh, <laughs> well, we can yeah. So maybe this then features. Oh, I'm not even on the thing. So we put it over. So it's gonna have to. Oh man, we're getting the light over here. So if this is the front. Yeah. This is the front side where people are walking. Maybe we put it, we park it over here, two-story thing with the side, the the wall removed. And maybe we put these. The dormers feel like they're in a a, a sort of a habited, uh, you know, it feels like a quaint sort of thing where you'd have up in the bedrooms or whatever. So like, let's do uh, let's, let's let's count on a big big old building over here, with uh, with some dormers. I like it. Is that two Bridge of Valor roofs just back to back on the? Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, this is to simulate a uh, this is to simulate the thatched roof. Yeah. Right. That's what. It, that's the general shape of the thatched roof. Yeah. It's not at all. But it, it's it's unmistakably like it's just a reminder. Like this is this half of a Tudor building. I need to build a building, and this will be a, a, a roof, a, a thatched a smoking thatched roof. Um, all right, well, let's put that guy, ooh, let's put the cottage, let's do this. We're going to use the, uh, speaking of cute little cottages, we'll use this, um, we got the lattice window insert, so we can put that on the cottage, because that'll look a little noise. Oh, wait. No, unwait. I was thinking the roof, um, I was thinking it came down over the sides of the building, but it doesn't. It, it'll, it'll sit flat. So the fogger sits on it. I could just put a raw fogger on top to remind us that it's a... Is that even better? You okay over there, Chris? I hardly know her. <laughs> um, okay, what if, actually, if we're doing the tavern... Uh, okay. If we're doing the tavern is two stories, Wrong. what if oh, what if the coming. top what if the top story has like a has like a four by four area and we can literally see like the fireplace like underneath and like the we put the thatch roof on the tavern. The uh, tavern's got to be bigger than the the thatch roof isn't gonna play. Yeah, that's what we, the thatch okay. roof isn't gonna play well with anything else because you know, so. Raw fogger. Right, it won't got, look good mixed with other. Well, it it yeah. it extends out in order like the roof covers, 
the fog urn extends out on all sides around. And we don't more have so, the, so we, it doesn't we like. And we don't have the shallow roofs yet to. Yeah, with. so it's it's yeah. it's not a, it's not gonna it's not gonna mix and match so well. Okay. Um, but we can uh, so okay, so we get raw fog urn roof. So we know that that's gonna be turned into a that'll be a smoking. A uh, this is the smoking building. Put it there. Press some bits. Bridge of Valor, double roofs out of there. All right, now, um, maybe I'll use this as the basis for, to remind us that we're doing a big old tavern. Oh, are, we have Are those CBS two. floors? Yeah, those are, those are regular CBS floors. So that's why they don't match the, uh, the color. Oh yeah, we are, we are just like cobbling this together with just dreams. Ham, yeah, Ham, Hamster and Aaron are still painting a bunch of stuff. Um, we don't even have the real corner posts yet. Those are just being cast. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got we got a lot of we got a lot of fairy dust and dreams that we're we're throwing on this thing. Um, yeah, the fast roof's only a one-off four by four piece currently. Because um, it's it has to be basically just made to fit the fogger specifically. Maybe we'll do more thatch in the future, but for now it's just this one yeah. four by four. A little taste of thatch. It's supposed to be just like, yeah, like a very beautiful specialized piece. All right, I'm gonna drop this in as a reminder. It seems like we probably wanna put, if it's a cross section, it probably wants to be right up against the edge. Yes. Right, so we feel like the edge of the you feel like it extends for it actually extends, extends further into you. yeah. like you're walking through the rest of the uh, tavern. All right, so I'm gonna just drop this in. These are these wild <laughs> amalgamations of like I've got Tudor there's Tudor bits and others. It's just like these are uh, it's all just we're just blocking out the sort of the placement right stage placement. This guy wants to be like crooked, so it looks lively. This one, it's too many square buildings in one place, right? We gotta knock. Do we knock the warehouse? Maybe the warehouse gets a skew this way. All right, oh, and what we have. So right now I've been playing with four by fours. Let's bring out. We have two by two floors, so we gotta. Man, that's what's that's what's kind of disappointing or challenging. Here is I really want to. I really want to. Uh, I want to show people the all the things that we want to do, right? Breaking the box and um, scheduling whatever. We just don't have those pieces yet. With the best we've got right now. Are right, we have one, two, three, we have six two by two wood floors. So we can do a couple of little bits where we do something tricksy with these, but I don't even know if we have the Trixie Hobbitses. Oh, we've got plenty of Trixie Hobbitses. I don't know if we have the roofs to support. I guess we do. We oh have... man. You know what we should do? What? Well, since we've got floors with the functioning biscuit holes, we should use it to string a bridge between. Except we don't have the bridge. It's we don't. Not, have oh, the, we, we don't have. We don't have the new bridge. But we can use existing yeah, yeah, pair yeah. peg bridges. I'm gonna use this uh, tavern accessories that haven't yet been opened to remind me that that's gonna. Oh, be we finally have more tavern accessories here. Yeah. There are, sh there are like some shocking things where it's like, oh, we only have one of these or like none of these pieces at like, the office. How is that possible? Yeah. Um, yeah, we are making a new bridge that goes with like our scaffolding system. But uh, the nice thing is all the bridges that we've made in the past that uh, use like paired peg holes are going to be compatible with these biscuit holes. Um, so yeah, so we could, we could use one of the old bridges between buildings here. Save thatch sculpt for the thatch KS. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have a thatch KS. It's part of the modular boat KS. It's part of the modular, modular bo boats. You know the the thatch, thatch roofs the thatch roofs for your for your and boats. All all ruins. Um. Yeah, we've shown you I think the sculpt for the bridge. 
in the past? Yes. Yeah, because it's been sculpted, but we haven't cast it yet. It's a tricky, tricky one. Yeah. But we got this. Make it a boathouse. Yeah, I mean, the reason with the thatch roof is, one, it's basically in order to make a piece be compatible with this fogger. Like, it, it can't really be a modular piece. It has to be something that is designed to yeah. work with the fogger. And so we were like, what makes sense is to, let's make it just like a super beautiful piece, something, because also making modular thatch would be very difficult compared to, like, in getting it we to still look natural. It. Yeah. Like, you can make thatch look so much better when it gets to be one complete piece. Um, Pure thatch. So, like, it's just like a big beauty piece that'll let you do, like, oh, this is somebody's, like, cottage in the woods with like smoke coming up out of it and it's just, like a small like humble building situation one of those things where it's like having one or two of these will be really nice to have um hmm. but yeah we uh was it just gonna tell you about ever new docks and such not a bridge yeah oh. at some point we showed the sculpt for the bridge we were going to we we're gonna have a a fogger chimney roof for the modular roofs where you you have a chimney hole and all thing like oh cool you can just build it in line pop in the folder problem is the fogger has a four by four footprint mm -hmm. so it means then you would have to if you wanted to you can't just like throw it on and build the roofs over it because it's as big as as a base four by four building so you would have to make a six by six room that basically just gets eaten by the fogger yeah. Um, and it was like, it became really sort of suddenly impractical uh, to try and get that. Like it was actually harder to line up the line up the fogger with the roof, with the thing, with an actual usable build in there. So we, we scrapped that piece for now. Oh, that guy's going to go there. Remind me I'm doing a thing. So I, I feel like I want to take oh. advantage of this these two by twos. Like get, like I should do a little bit of, some little piece of tricky work um vertex had a really here. good idea that what's the idea we'll use this use the biscuit system to have a second floor that juts out over the water so like it, it hangs out further over the water than the first floor mm. so the first floor can be like built mm. in line with the edge we second, do have yeah. we have one two by four by four floor with biscuit holes and these uh what happened to all these those, guys? What happened to all those dwarvenite? Like, oh, we do have we have the parquet. Yeah. Floors. We can at least use them to expand the geometry. Yeah. Because we have a good amount of those. We have a ton of those. Yeah. So we could have a thing. We can have, we cantilever a thing out over the water. Um, that's a fun idea. Fargo needs to go in a six by six building. No, it'll work on a four by four with a roof that is specifically sculpted to or, work with it. But it introduces too many complications to, if you try to get modular and include the fogger, it's difficult. So It was um, harder than we were thinking of. Yeah. So it's a thing where it's just like, this is a big special effect thing. Let's just focus on making like one just like really beautiful way to use it. Um, and then let the modular stuff be fully modular. Hmm. Oh, and I also have what Miles got a ooh. Rigged up the uh, an LED wall, so we have we definitely have yeah. to showcase LED. Um, I wish we had some of the new LEDs. Oh. Also, we need to. Oh right, I need to roll the giveaway. It's been a while. Mm. Uh, wilderness. Uh, type Lemmy. Uh, the the word is Lemmy. If you haven't entered the giveaway, I'm gonna roll it in like 30 seconds. I forgot about it, but I will roll it in 30 seconds. We also kind of want to do. We've got a bunch of outdoor accessories. We kind of do like a marketplacey thing. So the problem I'm realizing with this. This block out that we have here is we're not going to have any room to put a market. Well, you need to have enough of that stuff up front so people can see it. So maybe we move, maybe Thatchy comes, let me do this. Itchy and Thatchy. Itchy and Thatchy show. Maybe Thatchy moves... Hmm. Maybe we do this sort of thing. Get that you over. Hmm. Where are you? We can kind of do a market, market thing over there if we move. If it's gonna be a fully enclosed thing, what if we make? 
What if the thatched roof is over like a second floor, <laughs> jutting over the water? Yeah, it wants to be a little. No, cottage. that's too. It wants yeah. to be a quaint. It wants to be a quaint little cottage. Um, so this guy's gonna be in here. We're gonna have how much? Of the, how much of the water are you are you planning to have taken up? All of it. I mean, it's just gonna have docks everywhere. Okay. I was thinking we could have it like out separate from the rest of the town a bit, on like. There is no rest of town. I mean, this is it. Like, this is all. We're we got the That's whole. What I'm saying is like it could be out like over the water, like on a platform or something. Like a houseboat. Yeah. Modular boat confirm. Yeah. All right, let's roll this giveaway. Mm. Put the thatch cottage in the swamp outside of town. Oh, yeah, we could drop it into a different. Except, we could absolutely. But, but I want it. I want to just contain the the city's stuff. Be like, hey, this yeah. is the preview of what we've got. That thatch roof is in there. Like, make it just crystal clear. Like this is all part of this one thing. Yeah. So, I feel like I'm gonna roll the giveaway. Maybe Thatchy goes over here, and then the market is behind Thatchy, mm. and we're just hoping people can see the fog um, without having a big dark thing behind it, because it's gonna just be too much. Friar Fink. Do... Friar Fink has won the giveaway. Good name, Friar Fink. Yeah, he's been he's been around for a long time. I think I might already have your email. Oh, do I not? Do huh. we I'm surprised you haven't won before? Yes. Okay. Um, Let me think here. And then we do a two by. He's gonna talk to himself a lot. All right. Uh, I have whispered at you. Just let me know. Congrats. Yeah, congratulations. Just let me know what email your store account is under, and I will get that set up before I leave for Gen Con. Um. So maybe we do a thing like this. We can't leave her out. And it could have like the the hook for like maybe that's it's jutting mm -hmm. out over the water so that it can more easily pick up cargo. Uh, okay. Yeah, Vertex is saying like a warehouse with some little bit that hangs out over the water you could use to load the boats. Yeah. Let's make that corner like a massive warehouse with a yeah. thing jutting yeah, out. With the hoists. Which and that opens are, up like I broke. the other corner. Uh, where did I put your hoist? So the question, if I have a gift card, can I add it to my account or only on checkouts? Uh, it's just a code that you put in at checkout, I believe. That's um, a silly question. It's a good question. Yeah, I don't think our system works in a way where you apply it to an account. Hang on, I just had... And then we can put the barge underneath it with some barrels being hoisted or something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Could you imagine if our winch was like a functioning... Uh, well, we Hook could do it, just not as small or whatever. So we'll have a little hoist, uh, hoist here. And we do a thing like... What's holding up the overhang? Biscuits, baby. Right now, just dreams and fairy dust, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah we're gonna right have now, it... I just stacked a couple walls on there, and it's kind of weird, but we'll... Yeah, we're going to have it biscuited so it'll be attached, but right now, it's not. It's, I'm, just, I'm just trying to block out like what the... Like, once I've... It kind of, the, this is the urban planning, right? This is where we're trying to figure out the flow of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> once they once actually have a plan where everything is, then we can, uh, we can build in, at, at detail in front. I should have pre-planned, but you know. And this is going to be a stand-in for the Ashlar, whatever's Ashlar. So this is going to be Ashlar thing. That'll be this the... This is going to be Smoking Cottage. This is going to be the Cutaway Tavern. It's not on the screen here. Uh, and then this will be cantilevered warehouse. We do some sort of market thing here. Um, and then let's do, maybe do a derelict. We have a bunch of ramshackle stuff. Oh, the other gag. Use, use those interior walls as like say I haven't divider. done yards. That's literally, yeah. literally say the other gag I haven't done is yards. Um, hmm. I'm from Boston. What's urban planning? <laughs> well, yeah, it should look, kind of look like Boston if we do it right. This is really... Got a large tavern, the frothy stash. Need some end pieces? Buddy, we've mm. got them. Got them. We, we have some existing tavern <laughs> dressing, and then we're making some, some more. We literally have a... Uh, that's, yeah, that's our existing tavern accessories pack, which I think is in stock. Coming. I think we just restocked it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have a market. That could square. Could square. Thanks for coming by, Doc Holiday. Cooking. Lowtown terrain but tray base should be the dirt side of the Aaronthor terrain trays. 
Uh, are we using, is this the? No, this is new dirt art. That's the new dirt? Yeah, we get new muddy ground. Same as the old dirt. It's not, it's, it's new. New dirt. Um, have we shown that to people? Mm, ish. We don't have a good print of it yet, so I don't think we have. Okay. Um, what if? Oh, and where am I going to get Trixie? If this is just a big L, well, that's going to be a big guy with dormers. Maybe I'll do something back here with using these two by twos. Do something with like wacky roofs and two by twos. Hmm. Maybe I do a um, maybe do a couple of like yards and uh, you know small buildings and yards kind of make cattywampus slums sort of scenario back here. Yeah. So we kind of we have like tavern, warehouse, slums, cottage, nice dockmasters, ashlar, palace, um, then docks. Do something for. Something out there. I don't know what is that? Because that kind of hits all of our gags. Yeah, because we can do neat stuff with the interior wall system, which I think we're going to rebrand. Maybe some like can make really nice. We can do nice yards, nice little um, tiny lots between buildings. If we have like, yeah, this one's unpainted. Get all sorts of good stuff, right? So if we had like a guy here and a guy there, put this little guy here. We can get oh, oh, we can play. So you have your usual stall at Gen Con, yeah, booth twelve oh one. We moved one spot to the left on the map. We were it used to be thirteen oh one. Now we're twelve oh one. So we just moved like one thing over. But it's basically if you if you went to our old stall, you, you were right. Now. You couldn't miss this. We're right now. Dinah says balcony house looks way nicer than half timber. I believe half timber with thatch roof with gardens, yards blending into market. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> parse. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. If, I believe half know. timber with a thatch roof with gardens, yards, blending into market. See. I wonder if oh, we don't have the diagonal roofs yet. I, so much stuff. There's so much stuff where it's like, oh, if we had this, but Balcony, we don't have it made right, yet. So we do like yeah. a little thing, little thing. I do. So like Thatch House being part of the edge of the market, a bit less nice. Shh. <laughs> Bigsby. I thought I silenced it earlier. No. Maybe this. Guy goes something like that. So yeah, maybe we'll do this. Will be a this will be a six. Uh, this will be a four by six. Probably a two, four by four. Maybe this has. Maybe we'll cut some sort of weird. What other shape should this will be a this will be an L with an overhang. Who's it from? It was telling me what temperature it is outside. Oh, Not even anything like... Hey, human, would you like to know about temperature? Yeah. I heard you care about those things. Did you get those minis? <laughs> did your package arrive? Which minis? Oh, I actually have no idea if it did. I hope it did. If they did that thing where they're like, yeah, we're just going to take it to... Uh, we're just gonna take it to, uh, to to like our facility, and you can't pick it up till next week. That would suck because we're leaving Monday. Um, we're leaving on Monday. Did you get those minis? What minis? I don't know. Though they sent you a secret minis. You didn't hear? Have I talked about waiting on minis here? I don't know. <laughs> Night, Stefan. Not Stefan. Staffan. Staffan. It's a different. It's yeah. We we we, we yeah. The ones you set a reminder for? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I actually posted on the Dwarven Forger Discord when they, when they alarmed me because I had forgotten, and I I sent it to you too. I just like yep. I sent you the I sent you the message it showed me. Definitely not the awesome. minis from Blacklist Games. Yeah, we heard about that earlier today. That 
Yeah, I really, my heart goes out to those guys. Genuinely, like, like we feel. I think they're trying really hard to. to f I don't know. It doesn't seem like yeah. a winnable scenario for them right now. Yeah, they're gonna get a lot of. They're gonna get a lot of. Anger, and it definitely, looking at it, like definitely reads like the situation wasn't anything malicious. It was just getting it over their heads, and then pandemic. having it made worse by the pandemic hitting, which. I don't know. There's a lot of people yeah. who had a really rough. Uh... Yeah, no, I backed. I backed for that main box. I was. I was like, these are just perfect, uh, simple. I liked what I was seeing. Yeah, no, we did get those minis. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got them. We got. Tons of townsfolk. Will it be possible to get floor foggers during the Kickstarter, or just get them in the store? Uh, there should be plenty in the store. Yes. We have hundreds, I think. Yeah, we have a bunch of them. Yeah, uh, like floor foggers, so not one go. of the things that we're worried about going away. You're going here. Fog building is going to be looking good. Is the roof right next to Nate one piece or four? Are you talking about the one on top of the two-story building, that green one? That's four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. I've white-sticked a bunch of these together until we have our biscuits working, so I have like usable chunks. But the idea is you'll be able to biscuit stuff together and have like chunks like this. You can leave a bunch of the stuff biscuited together and just use it as, as chunks. Yeah. Just like this. Unfortunately, our prototypes don't yet have the holes for it, but they will. <laughs> we have a big in over there. Oh, maybe we'll do the Trixie in stuff. Maybe we'll do the Trixie two by, that's what we'll do. We'll do Trixie, Trixie Hobbit's maneuvers over by the, uh, by the tavern here. Um, what if? Huh. With like the balcony with those two guys like drinking and everything. Two guys. What if? What if on the second floor of the tavern we do have the walls and we have that balcony out facing the audience, with the two guys like. We just have it. We could have them hang over uh, over the town like. I want to keep the gag. If we're gonna do the gag, we just gotta strip the whole thing out. But then the balcony can face straight. They can face towards the uh, towards the town, or towards the area where people are walking. Ow. I managed to hit that light on both both coming and going. Yeah. Really, well, you yeah. know, you're nothing if not consistent. Yeah, you know. If you got the walls for the two by two pieces, you could create a small elevated stage in the marketplace, gallows or something. That would be great. But yeah. If you have the minis, it would be a play or something. Hmm. Could also do. Hey, that's a really good idea. We could do also Make a stage. just take the. Um, damn it! Now I moved over here. Uh, that was a terrible idea. Uh, we could take this thing and put the uh, put the floor on it. And you could have like a uh, little thing. Put some stairs up. And it becomes like a uh, little stage town crier. Hey, that's a fun. <laughs> it's a fun idea. Whew. I like these. Um, Hmm. All right, so we're going to have... I'm thinking over here. That's why I was bringing a camera over here to show. Let me pop this up. Oh, waste. Thinking we do a, a little piece of tricky... Put, some, put the two-by-twos over here in this L, so then the roofs can do a fun thing where it goes like that, it goes like this, it goes like that, it goes like this, it goes. So we get to basically have have hip, valley, hip, valley, hip. It should look maybe wild or maybe cool, I don't know, but it'll it'll showcase it like showcase it a lot. I mean the main thing is trying to show people that they can do stuff with these pieces that they can't do with anything else. Yeah. Is the big thing. So even if it doesn't Ooh, maybe I just do it down at this level, right? So I go so I just do Maybe it's just a one little thing, and then we go, so it goes hip. I'm not even, I'm not for light. So it goes hip, and turn this into a valley, into a hip, so bump, bump, bump around. Like this is like the back side. Oh, yeah, it's going to, let me rough that in right while we're here. Um, <laughs> Nia Foy says the uh, tea light in the bits box under the table is very distracting. <laughs> right. It's a bunch of brown stuff, and then like that white tea light. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is all the fun, right? Like all the, all the exciting. Uh, well, it's exciting. Like part of the new tables yeah. is we now have like Shelf. shelves under the tabletop so we can use them for storage. Yeah. And have promptly filled said shelves to the brim. Yeah, as soon as there's a surface, we will fill it up with things. 
It's very satisfying. Uh, in fact, let me get uh, let me get where are the fake corner posts. We've taken Tudor corner posts and just painted them <laughs> brown. Um, where I put them is a whole other. All right, we'll do a couple. All right, we're gonna put. Do we put what? What do we put for walls here? Do we put a door? Where at exactly? Well, I'm gonna just put. I'm working in the. I, found, I chose the darkest corner of the table to work in. It seemed like a, uh, a fitting spot. It's a little bit pitch dark. All right, hang on. Let's move this over here, and I'll put it over here. I wish we had the railing so we could do like, a back patio, like outdoor dining mm. in that section. But we don't have it. But we will. Should make the Globe Theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladders on their sides. Yeah, that's fair. But it'd just be a way to show we'd off have what to you cut can do with, them the, with the scaffolding system. But we, we don't have, have we have it. some really good. We have all is all coming. Yeah, there's a lot of really great stuff we'll be able to do in theory once we've got the stuff here. But it is not ready to show yet. This is exciting. Oh, I need a door. I need to actually get the physical door. We have a great little door to put in there. Let me see if I... Let's get you. Uh, in the bits box. Where is the tiny door? Hmm. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Man. Oh, here's a really satisfying little bit. The um, any LED lantern post for the city? Not yet. This is uh, for the the wall with the breakaway panels, the secret door. Oh, wall. we've got it made. Well, we have one of the panels, and it's yeah. like just such a great like you can use it as like a uh, little boardwalk thing or plank, whatever. It's just like. On its own, this thing, it could be a sideways barricade or a fence. Like, it's going to be used for a whole bunch of stuff uh, all on its own. Uh, I was looking for the actual little doors, and I don't. My kingdom for a door. Oh, here. Kingdom for a little door? Yeah. Here's the little door, and I hope it fits. I have white stick on the back, so it's ready. My kingdom. I see all the white stick. I hope it only oh, comes yeah. in a random pack as a one-off. What does? The LED lantern post, you mean? The existing one? We have a two-pack. I thought he was dead. Oh, we... <laughs> All right. So oh, the then... planks. You saying the planks for the breakaway wall. Oh, just like a lonely little plank. <laughs> yeah. That would be the plank prank. I guess it is a great question. If they're actually, if those planks are actually useful in multiples. Yeah, we may just spray them out in other places. Ooh, that's a little satisfying. Uh, it's not on camera. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I am. It's the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fun. That's right? good. You can't see it, but it's. Uh, that's very good, though. Hey, hey. We should just turn on the floodlight over here. Okay, is that? Yeah, floodlight would, uh, would make it. It's, it's one of these. I th hey, think it's one of there these. There you go. I got this. This did it. That's a completely different one that we're not using. Yeah. All right. So something like, boy, it's hard to, ooh, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to envision because it's all, this will be a oh, wall. It's all pointing, it's all pointing this is, at the. This is the this tutor and whatever, but imagine we're going to have this will be cut away and get to see that. And we can have, maybe the kitchen will be the side there and we'll think it's really uh, neat. We need a little wood step. There, that's what we need now, the step piece, which doesn't exist, but it looks like a little outhouse or something. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's so, where the bathroom is. Yeah. Or that's just like, or, or that little door is like, that's the employee entrance. Yeah. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that'll get people excited. All right, so this will be our, uh, our cutaway, cutaway tavern. It almost looks like one of those little side workshop buildings for a blacksmith or something. Yeah. I do love those. Maybe some of the foxglove slash blue flower scatter from Wildlands for a smaller herb garden in that corner. Oh, the wolf's bane. Yes. It does look like foxglove, though. 
Whoever, uh... Wait, is the Wolfsbane just a ripoff of Foxglove? Um, somewhat. I mean, you know, uh, did we Eli... plagiarize? No, no, no. Fox no. Eli, Eli knows is is a bit of a amateur botanist. You can't just copy. Plants. His wife is a botanist. His wife's so a he... professional botanist. Yeah, so yeah. he like he. I'm sure he was inspired by. I'm sure he did his research as to what. Um, what what Wolfsbane should look like and what he based I'm sure he based on something. One of the very fun things about being in Vermont and going on that nature walk with uh, Eli and his wife was uh, we're so used to Eli being like the expert on the Dwarven Forge team of about plants and everything, and so when he was like telling us what plants were like. Her like, her, her, like, her, like, correcting him on things and everything. And, oh, like, I love it. Having him, like, not be, like, the most knowledgeable person was very interesting. Because I don't know anything about plants. I know just enough to seem like I know what I know. <laughs> but, uh... Man, if we ever need to, like, reference video games in our sculpting or anything, like, I got your yeah, back. Yeah, you're ready. Yeah. You've been Video games or any this. any like TV from before I was born. Like I got your back. Oh, you know what? We can also then showcase the interior wall system in here too. That is like, true. Yeah, this is gonna be a good. All right, so so we got a. Uh, the cutout is a fun idea. It lets us actually show interiors on a mostly exterior focused yep. setup. In a clever way. All right, get you. There's a lot of sort of cutaway sort of bits in the builds, little open nooks to look in and stuff, or encouraging people to discover and explore and yeah. want to see more and whatnot. So, so kind of... Ah, that is like a cute... That. Yeah, that's a unique, cute, fun shape. I like it. Yeah, this is nice. All right, so then we'll have... Uh, we'll do a little... Ugh, I'm not hitting you again this time, Light. <laughs> so we'll do a Watch whole you, cutaway... You're going to hit it in like 10 seconds now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So then we'll have a, this will be like a, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have these two floors, this will be open, you'll be able to see some fun stuff inside there, kind of dollhouse style, we'll have dormers. Should we make um, it a situation where it's like a tavern that has an inn up top, so we'll have like some beds yeah. and stuff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we'll balance that up there precariously. Uh, we'll have Smoky Roof guy over there, which is kind of a quaint little... Uh, a quaint little cottage, and then warehouse situation, <laughs> some situation. Mark that. We gotta really work the we walk. gotta work the curtains in there somewhere too in the interior. Show off those curtains. Yes, I do love the curtains. In fact, Chris, I wouldn't mind a '70s era sitcom terrain line. Our next Kickstarter is actually we're pivoting into family matters. Amazing. Maybe so. These curtains. Um. Bye, Crystal. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. See you next week. I guess, yeah, this will be our last on the anvil yeah. before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why we're doing cities early. Um, yeah. Because we're not going to be here next week. Well, you'll we'll be having a build with on. a new kitchen piece. Oh. Yeah. Kitchen will be in the cutaway. Okay, so we'll see the kitchen in there. We should have... The we'll, fireplace flickering on display. We've got a functioning LED fireplace. We should so what we'll it. do is... Drop, drop it low. Family Ties City module. <laughs> just a bunch of... All the pledge levels are just... Here's how to make the set for this sitcom. All right, so we'll do We'll need some a... internal lighting situation. Not early. This is the last Wednesday of the is month. Is this really? What? I thought we were a week early. Is it really last Wednesday? This is the last Wednesday of the oh, month. Oh, yeah. It's, month. it's the 27th Wednesday. of July. It's the 27th of July. Yeah. It's Hawkins' birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Did you just remember? No, no. Okay. That's, that's how I tell time. Because when he was going to be born, I was like, oh, he might be born on Gary Gygax's birthday. <laughs> Charles in charge. Yeah. Uh, so this will be the, we'll have a kitchen back here. With a wall in there, and then like the tavern area in there with a fireplace you'll be able to see, and then we'll do like bedroom. <laughs> Kramer mini. Oh, we actually yeah. ha actually do have another bean to reveal. Uh, 
We got we got the music for the next Kickstarter video in early. Ooh, you want to play so. just the, just the intro? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What do you guys think about that? That's uh. That's, that's the, Toby that. plays bass on the side. That's like yeah. he, he was just like just riffing out a little. Just you know, yeah. just wanted to jam a little, and uh, we laid down a track. And yeah, that's. Uh, I think it could be a good like you know, it's kind of fun. It sets the stage for like. You know, anything you see after that, you're like, oh, yeah. it's going to be kind of a fun, like, uh... Like, all right, what's the, what's the campaign about? So, yeah, it's a campaign about nothing. We're yeah, not really... Kickstarter of nothing. Right, but... <laughs> it's like... The... I, thought it was, I thought it was cities. Eh, you know, I mean, yeah, there'll probably be some cities. Know. What is it with cities, anyway? Yeah. Why, why, always, why always a tavern? Why <laughs> it could... <laughs> we'll, have a nice, we'll have a nice, like, Festivus pledge. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no! That was my toe. Even through my boot, I, I managed to rip my like pinky toe toenail off backwards the we'll other do, day, right we'll before we have to go and be on our feet for like a week. Yeah. Um, you know, like the most frustrating thing about like working at Dormanite is having to deal with the shrinkage. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole, it's a whole episode in there. Is what you're it's a whole, saying? It's a whole episode. <laughs> we can make a whole episode specifically about the the, the shrinkage in uh in the in molding Dormanite. process. Yeah. 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 No beans for you. Ha! <laughs> I mean, it really. Uh, yeah. I don't know. There's something about it that's catchy. I feel like that that little intro rift could, could rift. Yeah. <laughs> Riff could catch on. Isn't there a thing on Twitter where they get you in trouble if they copyright? They can figure. They go through your waveform and. Oh no, that's YouTube. You can't get in trouble. Oh yeah, no. YouTube's like copyright claim system is rough. YouTube, you can have stuff copyright. Like, but all it does is just take the tweet down. Like, you're not gonna get sued over a tweet. Uh, What's the deal with one by threes? <laughs> Man, can I tell you, we used up a lot of one by threes in the uh, the Gen Con the display build, like yeah. a lot. There will be no OTA next week because we will be comatose after spending the entire day setting up our booth for Gen Con. <laughs> um, maybe we'll do like a fun. In fact, I think five the, I think on the anvil that we'll upload. Yeah, <laughs> it will just be like dollar says we. Hey, won't, we're at we're at Gen Con. We'll just record it on a phone and just be like, yeah, we're at Gen Con. Here we and are. The news. We're just Trova one. Woo. Yeah. Well, it's it's if we're an hour behind, it's it'll we'll still be on the on the floor setting up at, when this show would normally start, right? I think we we can be on the floor till seven. That time. We could do so. we could do the the Reaper Kickstarter uh, fulfillment stream, and we just like live stream. The, bo- the booth set up. Just set up somebody's phone and Boop. <laughs> live stream that. Boop. All right, so we got a little cut. I'm sure we won't, I'm sure we won't have any internet issues trying to do that. Not at all. Not, um, a, not a one. So there won't be on the anvil. There might be some bonus ham- uh, like bonus hobby hangs. Because hamster. Uh, yeah. hamster will be staying here. Hobby hang might be canceled tomorrow. We're not sure yet. Depends on if we... Do you see how many minis he has on his desk? It's definitely yeah, that's the canceled. thing. Like he's, he's trying to get like... Everything painted in time for Gen Con, so depending on how that's going, we might have to cancel Hobby Hang tomorrow. But he's gonna do Hobby Hang next week for sure, even though me and Mace won't be there. And he might do some bonus. He might do like an extra Hobby Hang stream. He's next going week into overdrive. Yeah. Where the heck is the uh, the? Fire Watch the phone stream go off with the single hitch. It's the cleanest audio we've ever had. Somehow. <laughs> um, um. Is there anything we're missing out on? In terms of showcasing, for if I, we want to definitely put this LED so more people can really take advantage of it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we have. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, here's another. Here's another. Uh, it doesn't. Well, maybe it's not worth showing because there's any. My LED. favorite thing about the building streams is it does eventually, like the by the final half hour, it always kind of devolves into you just like talking to yourself in half sentences. Yeah. And moving around, you're usually not on camera anymore, and it's just kind of like. <laughs> We're just we're just kind of we're just kind of vibing, and we've kind of stopped actually doing the stream. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Here we go. How this... many very few wildland sets per listings are there approximately? I think very few is like around ten, if I remember. It's it's not much. Oh, uh, we will have a secondary stocking of some wildland stuff in a couple months. After we've had more time for people to request replacements and stuff, and we have a little bit extra leftover wildland stuff get sent from the factory. Um, but in this initial stock, there's, yeah, there's very few of, of 
some stuff. Especially the very, you're so close to the webcam. Oh, it's my head. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, I can oh. see Nate's brain. You had your head churned and it was just your ear. And it was just like, 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 like the whole webcam was just your like ear cavity. I, yeah, I, you know, I like, like you're about to shoot a Jimmy Neutron. Homage. Building, building brain and streaming brain are often not. They're two different. They're two entirely things, different like yeah. hemispheres. Well, like the bulk of like this Gen Con build, I really broke it just Sunday. I was just here for eight hours alone, music blasting, just going, like just yeah. no, you know, silently. But well, mostly talking to myself in half sentences. Like, yeah. Yeah. Restock uh, we got in a few more, months will not include. I mean, the, the LED isn't embedded properly, but can you see? Uh, oh shoot! Shell magic. Look at that. Yeah, you're definitely faking the LED here with a T light that you've ripped the the walls off yeah, of. Yeah, we're just showing how it's gonna look. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Nate's model is clipping. You're gonna see the back of his eyes soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the restock in a few months will not include hearts or megas, correct? Uh, I'm not sure. Depends on Whoa. what they have left at the factory. Ow! That's um, lamp. And it depends on how many replacements people requested and stuff like that. Because I guess the thing is, like, with a lot of the larger pledges that we have, we need to be more conservative with selling them during, like, the initial couple months. Because if somebody is missing, if it turns out somebody's, like, missing one of their mega pledge boxes or something if we don't actually have mega pledges left over it's very hard to get all the pieces to replace that oh yeah so we have to be most careful with those while people are like going wild through their pieces people. for the first time yeah It'd be a real shame to realize you're missing an entire wildlands on team yeah i don't think that's going to happen but like we need to be prepared in case that happens um should it come to this yeah. Hmm. Maybe you will be out here. No, you're over there. Maybe we'll put one guy over here. Building without music would be hard. That's a really good point. Uh, luckily, I do have some music here. <laughs> this is uh, this is my preferred building music. if you'd recognize this actually no you don't recognize it no oh man yeah you did stop gaming like ps2 era huh yeah yeah all right why do you recognize this uh that's only the wii shop theme from the wii mm. dude the wii's like i did play on a wii like a couple times the wii's like, you probably didn't go to like the wii shop channel though like if you didn't actually own the There's wii and weren't like yeah, like where you would like buy games digitally and stuff. Mm, no. And like this was like you had, I thought there were discs and stuff, didn't you? When it first came out. Yeah, but it was yeah. also like the early era of like consoles having, yeah, uh, being able to like buy things and that download the early digitally. era. Yeah, because that, that was like the Wii, PS3, uh, Xbox 360 uh, wave, and that was like the that was when digital games were becoming a were becoming a real thing. Um. But yeah, like Nintendo's like internal channels, like the the shopping channel, the news channel, even like they all had like a lot of just really really catchy simple songs. It was great. Um, speaking of which, man, the 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 Three. shop's shutting down soon. What's up? What's shutting down? The Wii shop. The Wii U and 3DS shops, I believe, are shutting down soon. Dark roof. Dark. Hmm. I think what we do first. So we've got dark roofs and green roofs. I think the in the only dormer, dormers and greens. So this is gonna be a big old green roof. Hmm. Oh, Maybe the Wii. The Wii was definitely hugely accepted. The Wii U got. Can you ask Nate to widen the shot? Yeah. It is very tight. Oh yeah. I'm, tight, I'm, I've uh, not even. I'm. I'm it's also showing an exceptionally low angle. I'll, <laughs> I'll hey. there. Maybe we. Uh, this is for a sitcom opening. Hmm. So I'm, I'm thinking about what color roofs go where. And I'm thinking about building shapes. I need to talk to the uh, HOA about it. Is that HOA? Homeowners, Homeowners Association. Homeowners Association, yeah. yeah. What roofs are you allowed to have in this neighborhood? It's a whole thing. 
Yeah. It's also at, like a Dutch angle too. Like you did not, <laughs> like you did not put this thing like even this at is all. This city extreme. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of roofs. So, so let's, put, let's rough in the dark roofs. Oh, I have to get that whole thing raised up again. Zoop. I am really excited to have fully functional pieces shortly and we can really show off. Yeah, once we can actually show people what this stuff does, um, our jobs are going to be way easier. Because genuinely, I genuinely think one of the best things we can do to like, help people get this Kickstarter very quickly is just be able to like Show have it. that like roof set up and you can see like the seams and everything like oh this is multiple pieces on a roof and it's at, like a cool bat, bat, weird bat. angle and you just grab it and lift it off as one piece and just like and all the like break it apart build it, you know, break it just... apart like slightly change it put it back on like nope. being able to physically show that stuff would be huge I can't wait to like, actually have it all functional yeah well 2026, we will, and it'll be great. <laughs> Who's ready to play with this stuff in 2030? That's not, dude, it's not going to be that bad. That early? <laughs> it's not going to be that early. Come on. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Global shipping? Uh, 2030. That's, uh, that's 2023, time. they're going to get rid of all the boats. How many, new customers, how many new customers do you usually get at cons? None. Oh, I don't know. We get, a, we get a bunch of people on the mailing list. But we don't sell anything, so it's hard to know how many customers we get. It's interesting because we're also, we're a very different company than we were pre-pandemic. We have way more of an infrastructure for our shop and for onboarding new people than we did in the past. So I'm very curious to see how this compares. Also, I feel like way more people got into gaming during the pandemic. Mm. It's true. Maybe offer a 5% off code to track it. Uh, we don't ever do discounts. I don't know if that's feasible. Yeah. Closest thing we can get away with is the bundles. That is precarious. Da, da, All right, so da, that'll da, be a da, thing. This will be a thing. This will be a low. This will be a low thing. <laughs> uh... Five dollar gift card. Maybe. No. Nope, Might be too last minute to. Well, we're giving away free stuff. All right. Did we say that? Yeah. We said we give people a piece of terrain if they show up. Okay. Should we tell them what it right, is? Right. 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 Yeah. If you tell us you're already a customer, or if you or sign if up for the mailing list. list. Yeah. So like KS2 at Gen Con, addiction is amplified. So oh, the KS2 display is not. That's the thing. Like honestly, there's nothing better. We generally believe like if somebody is able to get their hands on this stuff or see it in person, yes. like that does all the work, honestly. Um, I don't even know why we're going. We should just send a bunch of pieces to sit on the table, do it for them. Do them damn selves. I think at this point, if there is stuff that we could do to track customer stuff easier, it's too late for us to like set it set it up with yeah. the limited staff that we have and everything. Mostly we just want to, we want to go. What if I send you some someone who says they know me? Yeah, that'll work. I know you. Oh, who? Ooh, First on. time you drop a piece, you're sold. Dude, that was like the thing at Adepticon. It was like seeing people get terrified when we like smash, smash a tree on the ground and it'd be fine. We had one guy like, one of the guys who was working the convention said that he he had heard us like talk about our stuff and he didn't like believe that stuff's like actually indestructible and like he took one of the mountain pieces and just like squeezed our started and he, he like had like he was like a bodybuilder he had like right? biceps too yeah the, the guy the guy was like stacked like uh and he just like squeezed as hard as he could and like veins were like popping that's amazing and he's like all right no he's like all right yeah no you're not you're not lying about it it's not mace proof though well the thing that she chose to demo <laughs> well, she's superhuman also, let's be honest. She also does have superhuman strength, yeah. I mean, that's not even fair. Is that a freestanding fence? Uh, yeah. 
In the very front, that's the curtains, freestanding yeah. curtains, um, like burlap-ish curtains. Mm -hmm. And then we've got also That'd the interior walls that can be used internally to make like smaller, thinner, uh, more freeform rooms inside buildings. You can even use them in dungeons and stuff if you want to add like little rooms in your dungeons. Uh, but you can also use them in the outside like this to make like... You can make cool yards. And yeah. Yeah. Fence off your slum areas and make it make a little maze of good bits. Should have filmed that for a TikTok. Well, we did film. We did make a TikTok that was hamster throwing the entire Adepticon build like as hard as he could into a suitcase. <laughs> throwing it into a suitcase as hard as he could. Ooh, this is a good one. Let's see. If you can run it over with a truck and then use it, people will buy it. Yeah. That Perfect. was KS One. Jeff yeah. Martin backed over it with his truck. I have two things I want to do as Dwarvenite stunts when we have the time or when it makes sense to do it. I want to have Hamster shoot them with a paintball gun. Mm. And just do like, <laughs> you can get them unpainted or painted. And just like blast it with a paintball gun. <laughs> Um, and then I want to go mini golfing and just like tee up like a dungeon wall and like smack it with a five iron. Um, Do they give you a choice of irons of the uh, of golf clubs when you're mini golf? Oh, we're not actually mini golfing. Like we go to an actual golf course. Oh, we call okay. it mini golfing because we're golfing. We don't actually know how to. We're golfing with yeah. miniatures. You yeah, know, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna. Mini I'm not gonna. Golfing. I see. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna crank a, a dungeon wall. I was like, I think when you go to like a mini golf course, around. they just give you like a putter. Right? Cause I, cause I, cause I drive low. I would take a kid's head off if I, if I did that at a, at a mini golf course. I drive low. Yeah. Um, do you have, a, you have secret golf skills? I used to golf. Hmm. Um, it's fun. I hit golf balls into the water in Bermuda once, and I was like, man, this is like. I used to play sports fairly often, and then I came to New York, and it was like very hard to, uh, have like a sport. Yeah, it's hard to, well, like, with, with tennis, like, I taught Miles how to play tennis, so I'd have a partner, but he wasn't very into it, and so we played a couple times, and then, yeah, I just haven't. But have you ever played paddle tennis? Did I ever ask you about this? You mean, like, racquetball? It's kind of like racquetball. It's, it's platform tennis. It's, like, on a, so it's a tennis Tall court shoes. that's a oh. third, it's like, 40% the size of a tennis court. Ping pong? And it's, no, it's a tennis court. <laughs> It's raised, it's like three feet off the ground, it's in a cage, and the paddle is solid, like graphite with holes drilled in it, and the ball is solid, like it's, it's a tennis ball, but it's like filled, it's not hollow, it's a little heavier, and you always play doubles, it plays just like tennis, except you can hit it off the cage. So it's like racquetball, so if you slam it, it bounces off, so it's like, and if you hit the other person, you get a point. I like so, the uh, I like the idea. It's like it's I, like intense. It's like combat tennis. It's amazing. Yeah, I like the idea of like a cage match for yeah. for tennis. And it's done in the winter. That's why it's an unraised thing because you have melt off the snow. You have heaters underneath to melt off the snow, and you play it in the winter. <laughs> and like, it's it's amazing. It's a it's the New England. Mark saying this sounds like a weird dream you had. No, <laughs> it's it's the Thunderdome of of tennis. It's uh, like, gentleman yeah. Wake is wondering what we can say about Stefan's dwarven architecture building style. It's not going to exist. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Let's see. Are there people hanging off the cage? I would love that. You got people. <laughs> you got people shaking <laughs> the cage the entire time. <laughs> they're all, they're like all in, 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 in. Just like getting in your head. Post-apocalyptic attire. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I just want people in post-apocalyptic attire, like just sort of everywhere I go. In general. That's fair. Like football pads and jock straps, and that's it. Like it's like. You know, with spikes and mohawks. It's like, it's perfect. The Mad Max aesthetic, it's... I feel like you're just talking about Blood Bowl. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that too, yeah. Talking about just like Mad Max sports. All, all sports should just be Mad Max. People are wondering if you're joking or not. About paddle tennis? No, look it up. Platform. No, about, about the uh, Stefan set. No, not at all. He's like sculpting stuff for his fireplace, and he's like, you know... He's, he hasn't done anything. He's like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he had to go to a convention and, he had, you know. Was that actually Guar at Gen Con? Oh, yes. Guar came by the booth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the vet. But... I can't believe those guys are nerds. 
Uh, I love <laughs> gore. Um, uh, All right, so we have we'll have a maze of buildings and yard and the little uh, fenced yard areas in the back, marketplacey thing here, warehousey thing here. We go up high. I'm not sure exactly what we do in the square. Get hoists everywhere. We'll go there. Some ashlar thing here. Let's come on up. Yeah. The fact that Guar still exists is just amazing. Didn't one of them uh, die recently? Maybe they've had a they've had a lot of like their lineup has rotated continuously. Right, because it's one of those things where because of the costumes and everything, it's pretty. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I, I think once you have a once you're a part of the thing, you're not they don't, like. There's only one Odor Sangris, right? There's only one Balzac, the Jaws of Death. Like you can't. Slimester Hyman can't be somebody else. Like. But you could make a new character and introduce them. <laughs> that is fair. They kind of did that with uh, uh, the Proto Men. Wow, they... this looks like a mess of pieces, but it's going to be something. It is a mess of pieces. There's, yeah. There oh, God, it's also 906. Oh, we got to get it. But anyway, we got to plan out. I like yeah. this, this little, this, this sort of yard situation going on back here. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be nice. We'll have the nice little. Thing up on the uh, Ashlar on the hill, up there, market. Got to really fill out that market thing to make all this dead space work. Foggy, uh, foggy, smoky building up front. Where else? Then docks and whatever. Question about the paint work. scheme. It looks very red on my monitor. Is it similar to the Quildron tree color at all? No, I think the color it's balance. Very. It's somehow it's redder on. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look know. that red to the eye. I think it's just color balance currently. Well, these floors. These are the standard. Um, these are standard Tudor city city builder floors right now, and this is like a Tudor. Corner post, so if that's helpful. Yeah, the, the Quildren bark, like looking at this, like to the eye, it doesn't look as red as the Quildren bark does. Yeah. Um, a good reference, whoever. Uh... I think it was Neofoya. Yeah, it was. Odorous Un Okay, Odorous Orungus died, and one of the five Flatus Maximus died. Flatus Maximus died? Oh. Yeah. Because I, I think I remember, I was like, I feel like I heard about one of them dying recently. Luckily, I got to see them a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Quildron is definitely redder. Yeah, so it's just a color balance thing. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It is late. Um, All right. But we will be at Gen Con in a week. Yeah. So, woo! It's been exhausting, but like at least next week we'll be able to rest. Yeah. We got to show a couple beans tonight. Yeah. I think I showed everything that we had that's new. Uh, not everything. There's still a couple secrets. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and everything, everything we're gonna show. Yeah. We're, we gotta hold on to some stuff. All right. Hey. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see some of you at Gen Con. Uh, if not, we'll send some pictures and some videos, and we'll post. Mace is gonna be going nuts on social, and um, and we'll be back the week after. Yeah. No, fun. no on the anvil next week, but you will. I'm sure we'll be posting a bunch of, Well, just on socials, we'll be putting a bunch of stuff there. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.